Uh huh. We appreciate you, Hua. Appreciate everything. What's that? Appreciate him for being too to us, which is good. Isn't that right? Appreciate the ball. We definitely try to look to consider. Look to consider. Um, the last and Roshi I mean is something that you know a lot of people probably don't, but we need to consider. I said it often times. I don't know if people really lay it to heart, but as y'all can see, every time you look on the news, there's so many, so much going on every day, everywhere. The world ain't getting no better, you know, whether people want to accept it or not. It's definitely not. <clears throat> it's definitely an opportunity, chance for us to, well, chance opportunity for us to make sure we get this thing right. My young people, how we do so far this week? Who did? Three days. Who are, who didn't get three days? Who didn't get three days? Look at my young people doing better. All my young people got three days so far. Okay, you still ought to have some damn. Definitely shouldn't be in trouble. Who messed up? Who said that? Uriah? Uriah. You went. Oh, Uriah. I can believe that, Uriah. If you're happy, you know, choke somebody. <laughs> oh, he'll choke somebody. Nigga, he's about to go out to somebody. All right, well, y'all didn't mess up on your break then, right? Not yet. That's good. Let's keep that, let's keep that perfect record. So, hey, hey, stay in practice. When you stay in practice, that way it become a behavior. Isn't that right? I want y'all to start being mindful. Y'all see every time you look around, something going on, some kid getting murdered, killed, something flipped over. But they just had a nine-year-old kid just, what, what shot a parent or something? Mm -hmm. Something like that happened. I tell these people, y'all got guns, you got small, but get these guns safe to locks. Teach these kids the importance. Y'all know that, right? You got no business playing with no guns, ain't nothing to play with. When you kill somebody, they can't come back from that. You can be mad to them. I'm so mad I could kill you. Yeah, you're going to be mad. You'll cool off when you get through doing that time in prison. Everybody cool off in prison. Yep. You know, they thinking, yep. I could have walked away. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'll tell them. Yep. They, they, you, know, you, you serve time with people for murder, ain't it? Yes, you remember saying, man, I do it again. I do it all over again. Ain't but a few. <laughs> they just ain't but a few, but they mind bad. True. It's different. Somebody molested your kid or somebody hurt your mother or something like that. That's different. You say, I, I do this time three times over. Mm -hmm. But you kill somebody because we had an argument. You know, man, I'm worried. You know how many people you going to argue with in life? That like Shannon Sharp, he done Omaha. That Shannon Sharp not a bad guy. He's a guy you could tell he's a person that had to defend himself a lot. That's why he pushes himself so hard to defend himself. Now, I know why he does it. He's a person that had to defend himself a lot. And he feels like he got to defend it. You can't fight against it. It's some stuff you just got to eat. I'm tired. I learned it. I did that. I, I, the reason I know, because I know where he comes from in that type of attitude. You, have, you get to a point, you realize you ain't got to fight everybody. You ain't, gonna, it's, ain't no way where you can beat everybody. You can't. You ain't gonna kill but one or two people. That's gonna. Be, you can go take a gun. You can shoot a bunch of people. Once that gun around, they get you. They ain't gonna say, "Well, we are gonna let you kill some more." You done. And you, then you got to deal with the consequence. I'm telling my young people, y'all think about your decisions. Yo, I'm so mad at kill. Oh, do it. When I say do it, I'm, I'm not telling you to literally do it. You're going to find out when it's over. You're going to have a whole lot of years to sit around and think about your decision. And they're going to be behind bars with a whole bunch of other people who will kill people. And they're going to want to kill you. And you ain't going to have no gun for them. And people want to try you. I don't, I don't see where you're at. They tell you that, you're in trouble. When somebody tell you they want to see where you're at, you're in trouble. Just go ahead and know then, this ain't going to be a conversation. It's going to be some swinging. So, Y'all stay out here where it's safe. Stay out here where you can make money, you can live. You can't make no money behind them bars like that. That little money you can make behind the bars, hey, well, you can make a million dollar behind the bars. You can't spend it. It got to go back to somebody else. I mean, it, ain't, it don't make sense. Oh, this guy, man, I'm making any money yet. What you can do with it? Trading out for a sister. You ain't getting no women. You ain't buying no car. What, what, what you going to do with it? All your money got to go outside. You just trade in jail. You can't do nothing with that stuff. It's only in here. Out here, you can do something. You can get something. You can go somewhere. You can be somebody. You can be free. You can make decisions. You can't make no decisions in jail. They make them for you. And then they find that you make making money. You feel had to, you had to get up under somebody. Nobody feel that you made no money to be by yourself. That's, no, that's not happening. You had to get with somebody. You're going to be under somebody. So you back in the day, you know what you're looking at? I could have stayed out there in the street. There's a lot of people they had to do over. They'll tell you, man, there's some people in that bag. You know what they'll look at? You went up to them. You know what they'll do? They'll keep walking. Cause they'll look at what I do to you, I want to do it to my time. I'm telling you, it's some people that look at, and they, I know where I'm going. It ain't going to be no simple battle. It's going to be it's gonna be murder. And I ain't going to be out here and miss my kids. My mama going to be dead. 
Most of them guys said that tell you. We had a guy at the street, he did that. He wanted they robbed this uh, a thun gas station on Counter Road years ago. That's seven. I think that joke's still in jail. I think Jeff finna get him out. He, his mama dead, dad dead, everybody dead. Yeah, I mean, that boy lost a lot of time. That was a white man. In late 70s. You ain't, man, you don't got Jeff in there like that. You right. You go to jail, a teenager, man, you come out, man, you in your 40s and 50s. But life over, oh, man. Don't nobody know you. Everybody, you know, pretty much dead. Folks come out, you did me, but like, man, I don't remember you. And who you think gonna hire you? You know what I'm saying? Lad resident. You put the address down there, how long you live? <laughs> For 40 years. They're like, that's a house, that's a prison. <laughs> now I can't have y'all. That's it. I'm telling y'all that, Bobby. You hear that too? You do a little space cadet stuff. Bobby, space cadet. Yeah, you gotta work with Bobby while he's young. You see Bobby, I know him. Them interracial kids, they'll flip on you. <laughs> oh, I ain't just saying I be on I say stuff funny, it will. They'll be thinking they superhuman. I'm telling you what happened with, really with, inter- with interracial kids. I have a couple of friends. Like, a lot of times they'll do, they'll do more. People don't realize why they do what they do because they have to prove themselves to people. They do. They wind up having to prove themselves. They, and they're proving themselves. They push themselves too far out there sometimes. They'll do stuff that's not really conducive, but they'll do it because they got to prove that they're not what you're saying. Whites don't really want to accept it. Black people feel, well, you lie to me, your habits, so they'll pick on them because of that. You know what I'm saying? Your, your hair coarse, tight, nappy, so you feel like I'm going to make it like something wrong with you when you come in your identity. It don't matter about other people. I mean, I, there's a, I can put me with a Chinese, white, with green, yellow. They don't bother me. I'm comfortable with who I am. Right, I tell all y'all kids that don't be uncomfortable with who you are because somebody, you didn't make, nobody made themselves. Right, right. I don't care if they pretty or ugly. Nobody made themselves. Right. What you getting all up tight for? Right. You get mad, they ain't going to make you look no better. Nope. Make you look stupid. The time you spend, hey, won't you build yourself up? I had to deal with it. Man, I dealt elementary. For, oh, I dealt with so many haters. Them kids knew they were ugly. Ooh, they were haters. Oh, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was something. This elementary, I'm telling you, man, my first few years of elementary, man, I can't even play. I had to, man, listen, I go to PE, I be sitting on top of the, uh, they had a, we had that thing you climb up. It was like a glow. It was kind of almost like, who know that thing called? Monkey ball, monkey ball. No, come on, come on. <laughs> come on. Come on, come on. Monkey ball, come on. Global. Yeah. I got hate without that. We're not doing that. We're not, we, hold on. How many, we're not making each other feel bad. <laughs> hey, what I want to apologize. At that man's house. I'm sorry, preacher. I apologize. I tried to, I tried to, yeah. One of them, but I didn't look that guy. I was a little big. I was, when we were little, I was a little bigger than that. I was big, and it was gold. Y'all, it was that metal. We ain't had no colors. So, what I used to do, I used to go climb. I used to have to sit up here for PE. I sat up. The girl be down, listen, they be down, I swear they park, but they were arguing out with their girlfriend. They were my girlfriends. So I had to sit there and wait for them to get through. I get through. The guy, they were like, man, where you was? I like, man, I had to sit up there. I like, I couldn't go. To, they swing in their pocket, but I come and they be like, who, who, who your girlfriend? I'm like, I said, time to go. It's a man. You can't say nobody. So I had to sit on top of that. The whole P, I'm saying, watching the kid. See, they, I didn't know that. I was a net so bad. I would watch him. <laughs> they ain't lying. Man, we're back. I ain't, this, this ain't no joke. Man, my P time, I be sitting on top. I had to sit there and just wait. They, done, they, cause they had the little pocketbook. Back then, they had them. They had, back then, the girl had the two plat. There's one up here and one here. And they had the pocketbook. And they swinging. <laughs> so I just had to sit up there to pee over. We go back. They be like, man, where you was? I said, man, y'all got to play. I said, man, I had to sit up there. I, I had to sit up there the whole pee. I tried to tell. I said, if I look like y'all, I could have been playing. <laughs> man, th- man, listen. Man, this is a field grade. I couldn't play. They playing football. I want to play. I'm sitting on top. Then we did have the one you go up the mud. When you go with them, I had to climb and sit up down. I went from Atlanta school from climb on that one. I'm sitting on top of it. I had to just sit up there, just set the whole pee. They be swinging. Come down. I'm not, I like knock them out. I'm not coming down. I said, man, I ain't lying. I had to sit there. To Listen, this ain't no job to sell a pee. They, man, they like, man, why you play football? I said, I'm trying to tell. If I look like y'all guys, I could have played. I'm telling you, it was bad, man. Them, it was some rough years out there. So I realized, them kids didn't make that sound. Now, they went not understand I told them, you know what? You need to fight your mama them. But, you know, because they had the ugly world. Y'all don't understand. I'm sorry, some of y'all don't worry about. Everybody went in that world. But it was rough on me coming up like that. So y'all had to realize, people don't make that sound. Y'all got it? So it's a different world now. Everybody gay, so y'all can play now. <laughs> they probably get taken by the boy now. Be some sister with pocketbook time I come down. See, this whole, when we were coming up, they'd be like, I'll come along. There's an elementary. We had, we had absolutely no sister. 
Well, as a kid, had some, it, there was a couple of them, let me say that now, they had some away, but they knew. They knew, but you be on them joking. They better deny it, too. You can't get away with that. Like now, y'all got to play with them, y'all got friends. Y'all know how many y'all remember today? Jimmy, you can't do that stuff, man. No, no, no. Now, you seen since the high school, you had them, we probably had, um, high school, we probably had about, um, probably about three. We probably had about three of them. I'm sure now, now you learn now, it's on the cover. We had, we had three of them. They, let me tell you, they knew. Stay with them girls. Right, right, right. Stay out the way. Because you kind of how they getting pushed, they get they know. Unless you somebody brother. Yeah. They're No, you be like, oh yeah, he, he say, oh yeah, he a cool sis. That cause they brother. That be all the only one. It's even cause your cousin, your brother, you say, oh, that's a cool. Cause you know him and you don't want to cut, you do not want to cross these people. So you be like, how many of y'all had, how many on them folk? If, if they relate to somebody crazy, you like, oh, that's that cool one. You know what I'm saying? That's the cool one. But the rest of them, that's them sisters. But now y'all kids now, man, y'all a whole nother world. Let me ask y'all something just for record. Do any of y'all like girls? Come on now, come on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, they said that, that, that's that. All right now. I'm put, if I put y'all name on the back of the board, them kids, they can't come back. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all need to start liking early, Bobby. You got a girl at school you like? We're going to train that. We'll get you going. It's just the interracial time. It'll come in now. Some of them be shy. We got to tell you, don't go touching now, putting your hand on nobody, but you can lie. You can send a note. Y'all hear me? I'm telling you, I can help y'all. How many of y'all need a line? How many of y'all need some help? How many of y'all kids want to be saying? That's the way. I know it's embarrassing. Get your shirt, put Jeff on them. I'm telling you, listen, choose the love. I always going to choose Jeff. Listen, we were coming along. They had a thing. They had, they had a peanut butter on the table, right? They had a white paper wrapped around it, and they had my dad. They tell you, listen, nine out of ten of them choose. They have people that taste it. They say, they not taste it. They say, they say, oh yeah, yeah. They pull the paper. They like, you chose Jill. They tell you, nine out of ten peanut butter enough. They always choose Jill. So you want to put Jill on there? You let them know. They said, why you got it on? Said, cause I know you choose them. <laughs> oh, they like that. You know, yo, huh? I know you like. Yeah, they. Th- hold on. Go ahead. Go. How many of y'all really like that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Look at me. You gonna be sad. You gonna be sad. We we fool. We fool. We fool. We fool. We fool. I'm telling you, they, y'all better tell these things go fast. See, y'all don't come with that other stuff. Y'all gotta listen, man. Y'all gotta know how to do it. See, you you send a little letter right here. You get it. Let him. Let him. Let him. Let the old school. Hey, you did him. Let me show him. In them, in them, what, 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 what my young boys that up there? Get set closer to the camera. You yeah, yeah, see that, 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 that just, that's an airplane right there. You know what you tell them? You just want to drop her a couple of lines. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, help me out, help me out. No kidding. Come on, Chris, we ain't got our day. Come on, Chris. Come on, come on. Chris. Come on, Chris. Come on, Kim. Come on, Kim. You get that letter. Let him. <laughs> uh-uh, we ain't done yet. Uh-uh, we ain't. You still laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing at Chris. I'm not feeling like I know Inglewood baby laughing at me. <laughs> Listen, y'all messing around. These kids, I'm going to help them out. Y'all looking at this. You trying to hold that. Some, some for a woman. I tell them, right uh, you're going to be a loader or a driver behind those bars if you can't find a Fight a navigator. That's it. See, I'm trying to help y'all. He, see, he's trying to help y'all. He done been that. Better help him. Jungle Jim. When I grow up, what do you say? When I grew up, well, hold on. Well, let me some. Some of these folks trying to help y'all out. When I grew up, it was it was way bigger than that. Way bigger than Dan. I don't know what I'm saying. That was. That was. Yeah, them things, man. Them things like you were climbing property building. I don't know. Stuff done shrunk now. We had all monkey balls, too. Oh, we had all monkey balls, too. Too tall. Okay. Shalom, Chavez. I remember them days right, I felt bad for them, them guys. Too. I'm with you there. It, it was rough on them. Hello, you walk up to the ugly guy, you hug. I feel sorry for you. Say, you're going to get a lot of time to play. You sit with the kid, you say, you finna go play, ain't you? Man, don't even talk no more. Just keep moving. They be like, why you always say that? Say, yeah, it's, it's time. I ain't going to be able to play today. Hello. Hello, Shalom. Hold on. Somebody laying there. Hey, what? Hold on, my goodness. Quasha, how you doing? 
Listen, just for the record, we got we got a monkey around here. I, ain't gonna tell you. I didn't want to tell you about it. Good to see you, Question. Hello, everybody. She said, hello, everybody. Hello. They said hello to Question. Good to see you. I see that. I see that down. He said, Question should have woman out of said Shalom. Chris laughing. Chavez said a check. I had to get woman out. Nine 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 seven one one. Raha almost at a million. Look at that, right? Big Cookie Production. And who is that? Quay, come on home. That's right. Quay, come on home. That's right, isn't it? Appreciate y'all. So I'm trying to help them out. Y'all kids, y'all need to learn. See, you got to be originator. You got to come with stuff that work. Y'all don't go in those square, come with them old tight jeans, but all tightly, barely walking, pants wrapped right around your legs. You know? Hey, girl, I've been trying to catch up with you. You got cerebral palsy. Man, get something you can spread your legs, man. Y'all see that? Did y'all see that now? Right, that was a quick plane. You see that? All right, I see him over there. I see him over there looking. Robert, I see you looking, Robert. Robert said, I got to use that one. <laughs> huh? Look at that. I'm trying to help y'all out. Who are that? Who else in here? That pink kid. Y'all don't, y'all just sit back. Y'all got that disease from y'all dad and mom. Y'all make a lot of kids. Y'all ain't gonna do but mess something. Tell the girls that I ain't gonna do but mess you up. Ain't <laughs> that right? Let me hear you like that. Y'all try to work on these lines and help y'all out. Who else we got over there? Uh oh, book ain't but one book away. Where your brother at? Trying to clean the half in them boogers. Who's sick this time? You got the mask on. You trying to stay. You sick? God damn it. Who Malcolm? Malcolm sick? What Malcolm? Hey, her dogs are saying it still. Keandra, good to see you. Oh, who I got on? Danny, Danny sick. Danny sick. He'll still make a baby. Josiah, that's it. Play with that eye, man. Stay away from that nose. It's safer. Somebody said Landon put that mask on so he ain't had to sit by you digging that booger. But don't worry about that. We don't, listen, we don't believe what everybody say around here. Folks say a lot of stuff. But a lot of folks say it, though, ain't it? <laughs> hey, Malcolm, what happened? Y'all should be tripping, don't it? <laughs> yes, you see about that last year. That's right. Appreciate all my young people. Appreciate everybody. Look at Ryan. Good, Ryan, ain't that your truck driving here, man? Man, like he got a, a mask on, like the whole face. Man, what kind of mask? Is it got the glasses with it? Oh, okay. With that on, man, like he had the glasses and everything. Robert, shalom, shalom. Good to see you. Right at Riley. They got black ambition. Somebody said they just take out some of the letters and just put an S behind that A, but I wouldn't. Not me. Not me. Man, that right. <laughs> but a lot of folks say it, though. A lot of folks say it. I ain't going to say it. Not me. Nope, nope, nope. Whoever got, appreciate all y'all up there. Appreciate the YouTube. We don't try to move forward. I appreciate it. I seen Steven. I seen Granville got a pillar stacked on that right. One of like it was messed in. Did you just get out of the bed right quick, uh, Granville? Go back right quick. You can see the head print. I think he had just jumped up. Where Granville at? Y'all can't go back to find out. Somebody missing. Well, we don't get ready to try to move forward. But y'all kids, just look. They, listen, they can help you out. You just hit it, and you, you got to write the word. You just want to drop a, a few lines. Then you, that's when you start your writing on that. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you, they're going to help you all out. Listen, I ain't got that good about that for nothing now. Uh, y'all need to take a picture, kids? Y'all think y'all remember this? Jace, you know how to draw, don't you? All right, just help me out. I'm trying to help you all out. All right, y'all walk on out there. Y'all want to tell your own now. Go on out there. Go ahead and get your little feeling hurt. No. Sit that old tired letter and get that. She checked that wrong box. Y'all still put that out? Do you want to go with me or be my and put the check box right there? Yes or no? Who be asking? They just walk up, just bail them out, just asking. Y'all elementary, y'all need to learn how to write first before you start asking. No, you can't talk. And you're going to say the wrong thing. I want to go with your brother. You're messed up. Talk to. Learn how to write first so the wrong thing don't come out your mouth. Write, learn how to write, learn how to talk. You don't say the wrong thing now. Now you can't take that back now. Y'all remember we'd have that boss now. Do you want to go with me, yes or no? I got that yes. They just send me no. They just send me no. Now I'm just helping you out now. You shouldn't have to do all the writing now. The girl get your paper and ball it up. Don't open it up. Tell her, don't. And she get back, you ball it said, Let me open up and see what she said. Why you think she balled it up? <laughs> don't hurt, don't embarrass yourself. What you do tell them, I'm telling you now, we tell them, sweet tongue, keep going, let them know. I, I said, hey, I didn't know you were gay. 
Yeah, I say a lot of everybody here. That's how you stop that. You end that right quick. Now you mess up. They be like, thank you very much and keep going. You know what I'm saying? By the way, I am glad you know that. You know, so now, but man, we were coming along. Everybody, now I had now, I had some girls done said no before, but they were blind, mentally blind, retarded, and crazy. <laughs> Other than that, I had a perfect record. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm telling you how to tell. I used to tell them, I said, hey, you think you stuck up? Look at that light pole. Oh, that hurt her now. Oh, there you go. This classy stuff now. Y'all thinking about it now? All right, see, you're going to go somewhere, John. You want a future. Someone said, well, which one of y'all kids don't want a future? See that? Sit, sit down. How many of y'all kids want a future? Y'all think. Oh, um, well, hold on. Tell them, but what you say to Gray? <laughs> uh, he know, and he can hear them thinking. You gonna drop that line though? You gonna set up that pitch with the light, with the plane on there? Yeah. They have this, but yeah, just do like that. <laughs> I check them out. We gonna sing. I right, we try to. We gonna try to move forward. Look at you. You try to puff that pill up. What do you sleep on that? Hold on. You sleep up. You sleep on the left side. If you're facing the bed, you sleep on you sleep on the left side, right, don't it? Yeah, right here, the great pillar. I know you sleep. Look, I told you, I said, man, then I know the man Jack got on. That man rolled on that quick and jumped in that chair. <laughs> That's why he got that camera right there. When he said, as soon as they go away, I get back in the bed. <laughs> now, now that's good. I appreciate y'all. I don't know what they gave me today. I use it. I'm using that like I'm using a pretty good, easygoing guy. All right, we're going to try to get ready to keep moving. Who are we got up? Jerry Lancaster. Jerry, what's wrong with you? We just seen you should buy it. What's wrong with him now? Oh, he's going to talk to Wyatt. She probably got sick from you. You got her sick. Then he starts scratching the head. This one. Yeah, we know who did it. Okay, we'll tell definitely pull out she feel better. Dexter, you in the laboratory again. There you go. Dexter, why you be so far from the camera? Pull up, show your face. He be so far back there, not back there in the gloomy room. Come on up there, I'm saying. Come on to the, what's your COVID results? You still negative? I mean, you still positive. Okay. You positive, you negative about coming back till you get unpositive. Something like that, yeah, something like that. Okay. Well, go ahead and get that done. That's all right. Okay, appreciate that. Appreciate everybody, too. All y'all, the hard y'all. See, Jess, who's sick, Justin? Whole family, except for you. You said all, we can't hear you. It sound like you said all of them. The wife. the wife, okay. Is it the pregnancy? He I don't know what he's Is it she pregnant sick? We can't hear you. <laughs> man, this man is gone over him. We can't hear you. Damn, man. <laughs> <laughs> the man is sick. The man's sick. Don't worry about it. He's sick. That's right. We're definitely um, polite for your yes, All right, y'all. We try to talk with y'all. Let's see. Let's get ready to try to move on. I appreciate everybody, though. <laughs> well, somebody. Hey, Zay, I know you ain't talking to no woman all that crying you were doing that weekend. You don't talk. You got a girlfriend. You got a girlfriend. And a girl like you? What? Do you like one? You don't like no girl? What's wrong with you? Well, you got to get the lucky one. <laughs> he ain't going to be around him for so long now. <laughs> he ain't going to be with two more more servants. You come here with that now. <laughs> right now, right? middle school, we keep moving along that way. We're going to be like, all right, check out, have somebody stop me at the door. Hey, hey. All y'all got What's wrong with y'all? The rest of y'all not laughing. Y'all ain't got much longer. Y'all got to start too. Brandon, you all right? You hear me? <laughs> you be thinking, be sound like a Walmart. I ain't going to pull that. Well, listen, let me tell you something. These young daughter too, listen, I'm making men and women. Yes, sir. They ain't got nothing. I'm building them. Just what you who did in Barber She, he's yes, built them. Yes, sir. That's right. Y'all got to be sitting around talking, I don't want nobody. You don't want to come back here? Mm -hmm. Ain't that right? Going to start leaking, not on these seats. <laughs> Y'all don't, man, I'm telling you, we in bad shape. Y'all, let me tell you, listen, all right, y'all, let me tell you something. That, I know, and I do say stuff funny. These young guys, and, and I'm telling you, it coming from the rest of y'all guys around here. All this stuff around here, yeah, I don't want nobody on there. You got to want something. He ain't put that between your lid for nothing now. Hmm. Y'all hear me? 
a divining rod can find water, you probably better find something. Y'all saying get that divining rod yes, and <laughs> get in that water. Some poor make you shake when you yeah, get around right. a woman. Yes, sir. He got, I know they, they I see their faces. <laughs> man, man, priest, man. <laughs> I am preaching. <laughs> now, you who of them, he saw at dawn. He said, ain't good for you to be alone. That's right. Y'all got singing. What y'all got to be thinking about? Uh-uh. Y'all ain't got too many more services now. <laughs> now, they ain't gonna, now, they're not going to be fair to say that to y'all and let these guys get away with it. Do y'all want to be fair or what? Fair, right? That's fair. Teddy guys said, said y'all tell these singers, I need y'all to make some, show them some example. Come on, come on, you come on. What you supposed to do? What you, what you supposed to do? Lean your head a little bit. Come over here. What you up to? What you up to? Nothing. Nothing. You look guilty. How old are you? Six. Six, you look 30. <laughs> you got a girlfriend? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Sit down. How many? Mm, two. Two. <laughs> What's wrong with these guys reading they ain't got no girlfriend? <laughs> Maybe. They, um, they, um, they don't like girls. Oh, they're tight now. They're tight now. <laughs> they're tight now. And how do you? Six. See, you look 30. The boy said, I said, what's wrong with it? He said, maybe. I said, maybe. He said, maybe. I said, what? He said, maybe they don't like girls. <laughs> <laughs> they don't tell me to tell you to get out of here and you ain't tripping. <laughs> you ain't tripping. I know they be thinking, BJ be trying to push somebody. I ain't trying to push y'all on that. Let me tell you something. Well, y'all men. Y'all men, y'all women. Let me tell you something. I don't know where y'all get that stuff. Let me tell you something. You had to set yourself. If a person has set themselves to what mute, so a person put themselves that you said, I'm not going this this is the thing y'all have to look at. If you're a person that set yourself that you're going to be by yourself, there are a couple of things you have to look at. Then you have to set yourself that you're totally going to dedicate yourself to the word. And I ain't seen that from y'all. So you plan, I'm telling you, it doesn't work because the, the, the writings tell you about that. A person can serve Allahim better than, a person that's not married can serve Allahim better than a person that's married. Because you don't have to give yourself to the thing. When a person's looking at choosing the one way, it's time. It's a lot of things that you have to make in preparation you have to do. Like y'all got young. It's like to try to put yourself there, and even with the young ladies. You have to look at making yourself look available, carry yourself in a certain presentation. All these things, you want, your who is always your first priority. Please don't get that wrong. In the way I said, I know I say things funny, but at the same time, you look at, you are a man. People say, well, I can't do what all he want me to do and have a woman. Well, he, I don't able to do it. When he made him, he made him to be over the room, and he still gave him a wife. Yeah. Isn't that right? He showed you where when you get one, you know there are certain things you have to be mindful of. Your obligation that he gives you first takes priority over your marriage and over relationships. This is why a lot of people don't do well with it. He told you when a man have a wife, he care for the things of the world, how he might please his wife. So a lot of things y'all guys and then got, man, I don't want to be doing all that. I don't want to do that. Really, a lot of stuff y'all have, it'd be foolish talking. I wouldn't have that conversation. A lot of y'all, y'all real friends, y'all tell you when they talk that stuff, you talking foolish talk. That makes no sense. He ain't making that better for no man than a woman. Yes, sir. Salvation than a woman, the best thing he'll make for a man. Yes, sir. He ain't making that better for a woman. Now, if you choose, you're going to be by yourself. This, now, I know some going to do, what I'm going to do. I'm going to, don't start committing no lies. Because you're going to do it hurt yourself. And you're going to fall into a lot of hurts. There are people in here that are separated because of decisions that other spouses made because of situation. If they had the opportunity, they'll tell you. They'll like to, how many of y'all like to get these folks in y'all situation who was sitting around here and all that? They're looking at these folks. They said, but if I can give it to you, I'll give it to you. I'll let you have it. i let your mind sit right on over there and melt down. If folks tell, I don't know what y'all be thinking about. That just help y'all a lot. That being honest. Folks tell me, ain't nobody out here. How ain't nobody out here and you him? How, how ain't nobody out here and you him? A lot of times what people say is excuse because people don't want to put in the work. Anything worth having is going to put, you got to put in time. I said, being honest, there's going to be some change. There's a lot of things you have to do when you look at what you're doing in marriage. Don't let that fake you out from not doing it because, oh, I don't have to do, have to do all that. Anything worth having, it's going to cost you something. I'm telling you, it is easy to come, easy to go. That's, right. That's just being honest. You learn as you're going. A lot of y'all don't want to give up yourself, your selfish ways, your, your ways you do stuff, and it can hurt you. I mean, I'm, that's, hey, that's on y'all. That's fine. You do you. If it makes sense to you, you do it. I'm good. Let me tell you, I ain't crying through no snipe trying to hold myself. I ain't trying to find no, um, 
no um, blue pants to go with my blue groins. <laughs> no, sir. No, some white pants. You know, you got the blue balls, so you got to find a pant to go with it. No, I ain't trying to follow that stuff. So when I can't roll around, I'm just telling you, it's stuff y'all do. I won't waste my time doing it. If you're a good man, get up your responsibility and do it. We need, we need some chilling out here. Danny and Sandy can't hold That man about to throw his neck out. <laughs> Ain't that right? The folk that sent her letter, Sandy from Mexico don't told her don't make no more immigrants over here. They said that messing up the one coming. They got, they got these folk like, get them a break. Y'all for goodness. Y'all get here, y'all get all those stuff, oh, that mental block stuff and all this other stuff. Y'all look at other people's relationship and base on my relationship. I don't base my relationship on nobody else. That's mine back there. Y'all got, I don't base my relationship on how nobody else's relationship going. I got 29 years with that, uh, that old woman come next month. That's it. And I, you who are with I like to get 29 more. Right. Y'all been over, have, do you have some rough time you've gone through? Anything worth having, you had to go through. So that's just like with my salvation. I had to go through something to get him. Why would you think? Ain't going to be no issue. You had to go through that. You had to suffer some things. But that goes along with what I'm trying to do. If you want a good marriage, you're going to have to put some good time into it. And you're going to put some good money into it. You're going to put some good tears into it. You're going to put some good suffering in it because you're trying to create something. You guys just want to walk into something. I don't want my just sound this shit out. You didn't get you a sex dog. And I hope it leave you. Goodbye, you dirty nigga. You sorry nigga. I'm going to tell Ra. <laughs> that thing called me in trouble. Let it call me. You in trouble. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut you down. I'm going to sit up in that robot. We're going to cut you down. Call that nigga out, Ra. <laughs> he ain't trying to do nothing. <laughs> Don't do it. I'm telling you. Hey, I'm going to bust y'all out. No, don't put that chip in that hat called raw. You in trouble. <laughs> All right, so having said that, we're going to move on. Young people, I'm sitting here these 40, 50 years now. Y'all hear me? Y'all, I ain't trying to make that your priority, make salvation your priority, but you're learning now to make it, get yourself in preparation. Y'all got it? Okay, let's go. Romans 15 to 4. Listen. For whatever Nika taught before. For whatever was written before. Nika taught to Lamedus. It was written to teachers. Sure. So explain someone how to do something so that through endurance, going through without quitting and through the Nakum, going through, that's right, looking to receive the reward of the what? Keep to being. Of the writing. We might have Tikva. That, that, that's what we're looking at. Let's look at something right quick. Let's see if that's uh, Olive, Cuff. They call it First Peter. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's see three and ten. Let's see where they go. All right, three and ten. Listen. For the each who would a hop kai and see two. Y'all see what he's saying? A each that would do what? He's talking about a man that would do what? A hop kai and see two. So that he would love life and do what? And see two. Yami. And he want to see good days. Yes, sir. What he'll do? Let him refrain his tongue from Rosha. Y'all see what he just told us to do? He want to he wanna refrain his, his tongue. Listen to that. If, if, if a man want to see, <clears throat> if he love life, all right, he has a desire for it. And he want to see good days, let him refrain his tongue from Rosha. And his lips. That they may speak no gal. See that? Speak no deceit. Yes, sir. Hold what you got right quick. I don't know why I'm thinking about it. I don't know how to tie it. Let me just see something for a second. Let me, let me see. Um, see if that's uh, Beth, Shamawal, 2 Samuel, mm, 15. Let me see if it's 15 and 8. Let me see what I want. Well, y'all got both of them heated rolling, huh? Y'all call in? Yes, sir. Y'all will be all right. Wear some clothes. Put some drawers on. Y'all folks know come and put y'all and put on two pair of drawers. Isn't that right? Four pair of socks. Y'all get, yeah, leave, you can get one of them on there. Give me a little break in there. That's a, <clears throat> let me see that. This is Second Samuel, what I said. They'll call it Second Samuel 15 and by what I said, eight or oh, nine. Okay. Let me see that what I want. How about that? Listen. For your abode vowed a vow while, while I was living at Geshur in Aram, saying, 
if Yahuwah shall indeed bring me back to, to Jerusalem, then I shall serve Yahuwah. Good. That's what I want. Go ahead. Oh. <coughs> Come on. The Malak said to him, go in Shalom. So he cum and went to Kebron. Hebron. But Ab Absalom sent oh, spies oh, oh, throughout oh. all the Mata of Yasharal, saying, when, you're, when you shama the sound of the shofar, then you shall say, Absalom is Malak over Kebron. Then 200 Anashim went with Absalom from Jerusalem, <clears throat> that they were ca called and went they in. They called it Shebron? Kebron. Kebron. With a C-H. C-H. Well, we know it'd be Hebron. They put that C-H for the, the <clears throat> double H sound. Y'all remember I told y'all that? Another word they use in place of that, too. Y'all know what it is? Chevron. The gas station. Mm. It means united. That's why they showed them two lines come together. Everybody steal from you. Mm. No, but none of these people got their own stuff. I don't, I don't, that's not what I want, but let me see where they go. Come on. I, I don't know. Come on. Then 200 on a shame with, went with Absalom from Jerusalem no, that they were called and I went want. in their simplicity. See if it's 16. See if it's 16. 16 chapter. Let me tell you what I want. <clears throat> <clears throat> Listen. First one? No, nine. Let me see what I want. Mm hmm. Then Abashia, the Ben of Saruya, said to the Malak, Why should this dead dog curse my mm -hmm. Adun, the Malak? Let me go over now and cut off his head. Stop. But the Malak said, what well, have I to do with seven. you? What was that, verse 9? Yes, sir. Let me see what happened. Seven. Thus Shimei said when he cursed, get out, get out, O Dom Ish, and O Ish of worthlessness. Yahuwah has returned upon you all the Dom of the Beth of Shaul, <coughs> in whose place you have reigned, mm -hmm. and Yahuwah has given the Malkuth into the hand of your being, Absalom. Yeah. And behold, you are taken in your own Rosha, for you are a Dom Ish. A then man. Abiashad, the being of Saruya, said to the Malak, why should this dead dog curse my Adun, the Malak? Let me go over now and cut off his head. That's what he told him. He said, let him go over now and cut off his head. Listen. But the Malak said, what, what have I to do with you, O Bani of uh, Saruya? If he, all I, and if Yahuwah has told him, all I, Daoud, then who shall say, why have you done so? He said, if Yahuwah done said to do it, he said, why should you say not to do it? You, and, and I guess whatever reason we went here, because it's based off what we read. I just want y'all to consider some things. And, and I think it comes to a point that we have to start looking at. I want us to start framing things from... When things happen, <coughs> let's, let's learn to make adjustments. When right. I said learn to make adjustments, that's what Dawi did. He made adjustments on the fly. Right. As they would call it, being able to do that quick. The average of the every time, okay, you just have a number for a second. Just see what about Oh, elf nigga. First thing, reality. I mean, just being practical. Who you talking to? Right. And now this goes somewhere else. Right. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times you don't realize, I just use that for an analogy. Because you know, we here for a man. You hear somebody call you an elf. Nigga, or fag. It's typically, you know, ho ho, who you talking to? It's to dress that, because I'm not one. And so it's time to fight, you know, the reality that you just tried to put out. Somebody heard that. I want them to know that you're very far from that reality. So without, ooh, he looking at, I mean, I'm, I'm looking considering that Yahuwah has allowed him to do that. This, this, this comes with a mature. Daoud is a man that he told, he was a, a, a man of Dom, a man of blood. He couldn't build Allahim's bath because of the blood, because of the Dom. He had shed it so much blood. He was opportunity. What typically he not, what is it? Called Dawood don't know how to fight. <laughs> that man started out with Goliath, and from now he took off. Yeah. So, I mean, this is this really what you said, <laughs> this, and this is it's way more to my favor when I got this amount of people with me. Right. So, this is a really bad situation you put yourself in. This is too easy. But he looked there at that point where I'm at and where I'm mature to, to let, him, let him all off. Yeah. Yahuwah has a lot. This, this, this is what we do, all of us. 
I don't want us to take this, because this is the problem I have with you guys. Some stuff you take, you have realities that you can change, okay? Some things you need to allow yourself to, um, to adjust. And I think sometimes <laughs> what happens to average you, you don't know when to adjust and you don't know when to change your reality. You know what I'm saying? When I say that, with transferring it from him, there's some situations I can change. You know what I'm saying? You know what that? Well, you know, a car done rolled on top of me. Don't move it. Who know what all the hell that car him? Let's stop being stupid. Get the car off your retard. You know what I'm saying? A stone to land on their foot. Who know if all the hell want this stone to stand on my foot and I lose my whole leg? You know, some things we can change, but there are some situations, and this comes with maturity. When you have to understand, that's what the Benad do is gives you the ability to be able to do. Getting the wisdom gives you the skill in how to do it. Because you can do something, but you say, like, look at football. A lot of people <clears> play <throat> football, but then you got skill possession. You got some people, you say, that person's skill. You got people play back. You know what I'm saying? It's a different, but there are people you say, they have a skill. So now this is what we're trying to come into, understanding to have a skill when dealing with things and with the understanding of doing. Being, having the ability is great, but when you have the skill to do it with the ability, it separates you from others. Daoud was a skilled man, and he had a skill of realizing that Yahuwah has allowed him to do this. Yahuwah has allowed him to do this. And he told you, now listen to what he told you. And then back, back up when he told him. Which verse? Um, what you start at seven? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Listen. Thus Shemiah said, said when he all ah, uh, get out, get out, O Dom Ish, mm -hmm. and O Ish of worthlessness. <laughs> God of man, worthlessness. Yes, sir. Come on. Yahuwah has returned upon you all the Dom of the Beth of Shaul, mm -hmm. in whose place you have reigned. Mm -hmm. And Yahuwah has given the Malkuth into the hand of the being of Absalom. Mm -hmm. And to you, of your being Absalom, mm -hmm. and behold, you are taken in your own Rosha, for you are a dumb ish. So now he said, now you've been taken in your own, in your <coughs> own, you've been taken now in your own wrongdoings. Isn't that right? And he said, because you are being, because you are who are ish and what? A dumb ish. Because you're a bloody man. That's right. What happened? Then Abishai, the being of Seruiah, said to the Malak. Why should this dead dog all I, my Adun, That's the Malak? He wants to know. know why should he curse him. I want to see that Abishai. I, I think, is that the father of Pete? Father of, um, see if that the father of light. No, not father of light. See if that the father of gift. A gift of the father. Let's see what, let's see what his <coughs> name means since they brought it up. Abishai. I go straight to the Aubrey lexicon. I won't waste no time. I just, to me, that, I don't know what it, to me, it's like it take, it take forever kind of go through some of it. Copy, just put it in Google, just put Aubrey, Hebrew lexicon, they call it. Sometimes, I don't know. If, that, if this easy or faster for y'all, that's fine. If we get your number. Oh, 52 I don't know what it's saying. Let's get what it's saying. Oh, my father's, yeah, I'd say, oh, that's gift, say that, my father's a gift. Y'all see that? Yes, sir. Well, that's Abishai. So it's my father's a gift, okay? All right, that'll work out. My father's a gift. All right, come on. <coughs> Let's see. Yes, sir. All right, so then Abishai. Then Abishai, the being of Seruiah, said to the Malak. Oh, stop. Let's see what his name is. Some sister that I, I don't uh, a wounded. Oh, okay. I said wounded. Mm. Okay. So then we look at. Let me see. <clears throat> My father's a gift. 
is his name, and he's the being a wounded. Mm. Mm. That's interesting. Mm. Let's see something right quick. See if at 50, see 53 and 1. Yes, Yahoo. Now I got to play, right? I call it play. Got to run. Get a three and one. Listen. Who has Amon our message. That's the truth right now. Who hasn't believed it? Yes, sir. Listen. And to whom has the arm of Yahuwah been revealed? That's what he just told you. He want to know who's seen it. In it, in '52, it would have told you later that he had made bare the arm. That's right. That's what he told. He said he made it bare. <clears throat> he stripped it. That's right. So now he done asked them who it had been revealed to. They're just taking him. They don't realize why. That's why he stripped Yahushua. People didn't realize why the people were down. That's why he took his clothes off. He stripped him. Right. He said I made I made bare the arm. The arm represented strength. That's right. You know what we used to do when we were kids to prove our strength. Ain't that amazing? Arm wrestling. Ain't that so amazing? We were kids. That's right. And you know what you would say if you taste him out? It would prove who was the strongest. That's right. That's amazing. Ain't that amazing to kids? That's right. One taught that front of one. That's the thing you do, arm wrestle, race, stuff that you proved out. You know, people will prove out his kids coming along. I'm sure they don't probably do that now. These kids ain't going outside. They ain't finna hurt their arm. I ain't going to be able to play my video game. My iPad. I'm going to pick up my iPad. You know? yeah, you, man, you arm wrestle, tell these kids, man, you'll rip their whole shoulder out their back, man. So let's see what happened. Listen, for he has... He come, comes up before him as a tender shoot. Yeah. And as a root out of part of the That shoot ground. is what? That's, a, that's when the plant will start to come up. And we told that about out of the, out of the, uh, out of, out of the trunk of Yashi. Well, Yashi being the root, I they told you a stem was going to shoot out. So we were looking at that. This all goes to the Nasserie too because it became a branch. See, all these things are very important for you to know, believe it or not. A uh, shoot. This ain't uh, no, something about the name Jesus. Now shoot, shoot it. Do. This ain't that shoot. A shoot is what you call a plant. So he just told you how he was gonna come up. He was gonna come up. Uh, he came. I think in the, in the King James time, talking about him come up out of the ground. I think. Then it. They talking about before him as a tender shoot, mm -hmm. as a young shoot. Listen. And as a root out of parched aduma. See that out of parched ground. That's that dry ground. Listen that. Listen. He has no form nor majesty that we should see him, mm -hmm. nor appearance that we should desire him. That's amazing. Listen. He was despised and forsaken of Anashim. Listen. A each of sorrows and acquainted with grief. Listen what happened. And as hiding his panim from him, being despised, and we did not esteem him. Listen what happened. Surely he has borne our sickness. Sooner he had borne our sickness. And he carried our sorrows. And carried our sorrow. You know what? As the pregnant women here. Ask Chelsea, ask Chelsea and ask, um, and ask Chanel why they sick. It's cause of the baby. <clears throat> it's cause of the lab, exactly. So they understand that. You know, pregnant won't be sick. Why is she sick? Cause of herself. It's cause of the baby. That's what he did. He bared our sickness. See, everything he told you, you can recognize how it happened. Listen. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten of Elohim, and afflicted. Listen. But he was pierced through for our transgressions. I guess we say he was wounded. Yes, sir. They ain't gonna believe it. Nine to six, right quick. Same book, Yes, Yahoo. Yes, Yahoo, they call Isaiah. Listen. For a y'all it shall be born to us. See that? A child shall be born to us. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, we probably say a tender shoot. Mm. That's all it is. That's a young plant when it come up. See right. that? It gave it to you any way you want to take it. That's right. You want to look at it from the crop end, you want to look at it from a child. And that writer, y'all have been, he represented a tender shoot. What a new baby, how you handle a new baby? Tenderly. Rough. Grab it by on, just snatch it up. Because it's tender. Tenderly. Same thing when a little plant first come out, you got to treat it. You can't treat it like you'll pick a big, a, a grown one, a big, grown, a full grown bush. So he told you it's going to come for you like a tender plant. So we should have been looking for the babe. Listen. A being shall be given to us, mm -hmm. and the government shall be on his shoulders. So that the rule. And his shim shall be Kara, wonderful counselor, mm -hmm. mighty all, Alam Abba, Sar of Shalom. Mm-hmm. 
Come on. There shall be no end to the increase of his government or of Shalom on the throne of Dawood and over the Malkut to establish it and to uphold it with Sadak and with Sadiq from now on, even along. You ain't gonna believe it. So we just found out what was Abishai's daddy name was? Who? Saruah? Saruya? Was it? I can't even, no, I didn't ask y'all to mean it. I asked what was his name. You said, who? No, Abishai's father's name. Saruya. Let's go back, wait, wait, what's one? They put it Zerua. <coughs> Zerua. So Zerua. So we look at wounded. So you're gonna believe that was his father's name. Then Abishai was my father's a gift. That's what we just found out about him. He just told he's gonna be the everlasting father. So he was a gift to us. Yeah, that's what we just found out. He was wounded. Right. And he just told you, my father, my father wanted a gift, he was wounded. He was wounded for who transgression. Ours. I had to first show you he was a father. Mm. They just didn't y'all not hear what Abishai just told Daoud. He told him that the male could gonna be taken, it's gonna be given Absalom. Right. That's the father of peace. Right. See, my father is a gift. Y'all can pick that up. You should now. You just told you, my, listen, so this again, this boy's name was my father is a gift. Mm -hmm. So I need to find out what, what is his father? He said, well, my father was wounded. So we who should. You ain't gonna believe it. My father's a gill. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. You gotta be somewhere. That's why I told you, please go read Harry Potter. Do not pick up this book because you don't know what you're doing. That's right. Okay, let's come in. I didn't want, I just want to just show you something. <clears throat> it doesn't take long. So you miss connections. He just told you his father was a gill. When it makes sense to find out what does the, what does the father do? Well, he just told you, he said, my father was wounded. What did we just find out about Yahushua? He's wounded. Who was he wounded for? for? Our transgression. And we just found out he was going to be called the everlasting father. That's right. So could my name be Abishah? And why would my name be Abishah? Because my father's a gift. They missed it. Let's pick it up right quick. 2011. Or y'all. It don't take long. What you think, Derek? They, they need to take the book home and study it. Catch them with their book. Slap them. Y'all remember you play sweat. Slap it straight out their hand. Let's see. Let's see if we prove it out. This is OER 2 and, 2 and 11. They call it <coughs> Luke. Make it 10. Listen. But the Malachi said to them, Listen. Do not yarrow, for behold. That's what I the Malachi you, said. Do not, do not yarrow, do not fear, for behold. What happened? I bring YouTube news of great Shusha. You, hear, you bring me good news with yes, great sir. joy? Yes, sir. What could you possibly be telling me? That shall be for the entire arm. This going to be for the entire people? Yes, sir. What happened? For this yom, a Savior for was this born day, to, a Savior was born to you. Who is it? Who is the Mashiach, the Adon, in the city of Daoud? You ain't going to believe it. That sounds like a gift. That's right. And I just heard that a Yarlet was going to be a father. That's right. Then I found out that the Yarlet was going to be wounded. Yeah. That would make me Abishah. Yeah. Because my father's a gift. Y'all yeah. don't really move that fast thinking, do y'all? No. Does it make sense now? Why yes, his sir. name would be Abishah? But you would just ran with that. Didn't it make sense to find if he told you what his father was? Didn't it make sense to find out what his father did? Yeah. Or who his, when it, so my father was wounded. So how would I look at Yahushua now? I look at him as a gift. gift. That's right. That's what they try to tell you. So who would have understood that? Them that knew the Torah. People who knew the Torah would understand it. That's why I told y'all, don't read these people's notes. I don't read these people's notes. You'll mess up. You're going to follow these people. These people going to take you somewhere. I got nothing to do with nothing. This is a lifestyle. They named these people for a reason. He was, why you think his father named him Abishah? He going like, my father's a gift. When he want to know somebody's father? And then he learned his father was wounded. You said, now, why was my father wounded? Could it have been for my transgression? Mm. Don't worry about it. Come on, we, this, we're just talking. Jump back up right quick. Don't pay none of that attention. Erase that. We were talking about something else. How many of y'all forgot what we were originally talking about? That's, that's why y'all pay me. <laughs> we were trying to teach, I'll help y'all, I don't take long. What I was trying to tell y'all about was, we was reading about if a person would love life and see good day, how he would keep his mouth. Right. So we didn't even want this. Right. Got it? I was not looking for this. 
You ain't gonna believe it, and I found it. That's what he told you about it. He said, I was found it, they weren't even looking. Yeah. They, yeah, hold on. Found it. <laughs> <laughs> found it. They said, I, I, I didn't know it was lost. Found it. Yeah. Come on, let's finish this up. I, I'm just having fun. 16 9, listen. Then Abishai, the man. No, we don't know what that means. Go ahead. Sarua. We don't know what that Malak. means, do we? Uh huh. Why should this dead dog, all I, my Adon, the Malak, uh-huh. let me go over now and cut off his head? Listen. But the Malak said, What have I to do with you, O Bani of Saruya? Mm-hmm. If he all I, and if Yahuwah has told him all I Daoud, then who shall say, Why have you done so? That's what I try to tell y'all. How, y'all remember what I used to tell y'all about that? Y'all, <coughs> years ago, we'd have people, Carrie, remember, Carrie, Carrie grew a lot, I remember that. We, <laughs> man, we was on um, Rainbow Drive, Carrie was a master fight. <laughs> Him and y'all try, I mean, you whammed it. Carrie, you let him have it now. I talked with him one time back then, Kerry moved on from that. We wanted, after I had that talk just that hit me one day, he said, preach. He said, man, he said, Kerry back on now, Kerry. I said, well, <laughs> he said, Kerry on YouTube. I said, what? Well, I said, I called, I said, I called, I said, I said, um, Betty was, I said, I said, uh, I said, uh, I said praise Lord, Kerry, Kerry. He said, praise Lord, preach. <laughs> I said, um, I said, yeah, I said, don't, he said, he said, yeah, I'm doing good, preach. I said, um, I said, Carrie, you um, on YouTube. I told him hypocrite. <laughs> them hypocrite. I said, Carrie. Them hypocrite. I said, Carrie. I told retain your I said, Carrie. 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 Care. Them hip I care. Care. Yeah, the way till he comes down. And we had a long talk out there. He did one. Man, Carrie lost. Man, he told all the retain. He said, man, Carrie done told them people retain their sin. <laughs> you know, we had some time. But but you know what happens and you look at, because we all back then we were still, I mean, I had my niece every day. She said, you still fighting them preachers? I said, I've been stopped that stuff. Because, you know, at a while you had to start putting things in perspective. And putting things in perspective, you had to start looking at choosing your battles and look at when is this a situation where you need to adjust to the situation. When's an opportunity when you need to overcome the situation? Right, right. And sometimes we overcome situations we need to adjust to, mm. and the situation we need to overcome is what you wind up adjusting to. Yep. So it takes a lot of maturing. It takes a lot of. It takes a lot of. Cor- I, I received a lot of correction in position. Believe it or not, I have received a lot of correction. <clears> believe <throat> it or not, and uh, it hadn't always been visual for you guys, but you can see it in the change in how I operate. That's how you'll tell. Because he, he had ways he'll come, he'll correct you to let you know it's time for you to take a different approach on how you do things. And a lot of us in here, you, you don't adjust. I'm been a, a, almost the average, well, pretty much the average of y'all. It, you show absolutely no growth the whole time you've been. Absolutely not. You got anything you got worse. Because you don't know when you need to adjust and when you need to change. You get worse and worse and worse versus you need to, you need to start learning and paying attention to the differences that you need to take on to do what matters. A lot of times you're doing things, they don't matter. Right. And I'm being honest, yep. a lot of things, it, 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 it's true. You, you're really not, you're really not. And here with Daoud, the person Daoud was, he was telling, <laughs> what he told Daoud was basically the truth, though. Daoud, Daoud was, a, he was a pretty bad guy. Now, he, he, he shed a lot of blood. So a lot of times, some people are so busy to fight, you don't really sit back and consider. He had just not long ago had a situation where he had Uriah killed. Yeah, that's right. So a lot of things happened to put him in a situation to kind of consider. I've done a lot of stuff. For you fight everybody on everybody's opinion, just sit back and wait. This might be Yahuwah actually coming back. Uh, Yahuwah might have sent him to curse you to just sometimes, it takes people sometimes to say things that you critical to make you sit back and look at things you're doing. It's true. It's Think true. about it. Sometimes things that are not said critical, why would I consider it? When people tell you something, you might think, what, what, what? Sometimes you might try, you might say, what made you say that? Because mm-hmm. you're going back over yourself trying to put things, I'm just curious, why, why did you say that? That's right. And because he's, you think he's not judging and looking at this thing? Look at that. The fact that he came and said, who know whether Yahuwah said, because he's looking at, I have done a lot of stuff. Who know whether Yahuwah put this man here <clears throat> to curse me? And let's see what he said about it. Come then Daoud said to Abishai and to all his Abedin, mm-hmm. behold, my being who came out from me <laughs> so seeks that, my kai. You see what that? He said, the one that came out from me even seeks. He look, at, look what he's thinking about. Who, the man, he said, that came out of me seeking to kill me. That's right. You ain't going to believe it. You should try to tell him the same thing. Mm-hmm. We came out from Yahuwah. That's we right. said, you seek to kill me. That's right. He said, a man that told you the truth. That's he right. said, this did not Abraham. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't remember the eighth chapter of the book? Of, now, hold on, you got pick up right quick. Eighth chapter of the book of Yahuqanon. Yahuqanon, they call it John.
Ain't 32. Then we'll drop down. Let me see something. Man, Faye had a good conversation yesterday. I appreciate you. <clears throat> appreciate that too. A lot of folks didn't not be in this room. A lot of people don't know. Yeah, I hear. I put a lot of stuff out here. I put it out. Sometimes folk get it. Other folk who should get it don't get it, but other people just do. I don't know. It's all about really where you at. I'm telling y'all, so y'all make these judgment changes. See, I, I think what some of y'all do, y'all put up a wall to fight me. Well, I don't think, when I say think, I'm saying it's a figure of speech. I don't think nothing, I know it actually. Um, and you put up a wall to fight me and you think I'm a vicious, I'm a bad person to you. If y'all paid attention and really paid it and really focused, I ain't took not one dime from not one of y'all. That being these folks ain't ever lost no money with me. Not one of y'all lost a dime with me. Y'all to treat me like I done took from you. Y'all, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Y'all terrible people now. Not, how many I'm talking about? Not every individual, as a group. Y'all terrible people, just terrible people. How y'all follow, how y'all do stuff? Y'all done took more than I could ever make. If I gave me all the money in the world, I'd still be short. How much you done took? I put so much time in y'all. That's why a lot of people on that screen, y'all wanna know the truth. A lot of y'all not following. I couldn't take all y'all. It wouldn't even be possible. These folks ain't gonna let me. Too, I couldn't even take all of you. I know some people out there, honey. I couldn't take them. Y'all too much trouble. That's why I told you, I ought to swap people out. I ought to get rid of somebody, bring somebody, get rid of somebody, bring me in. Man, y'all a lot of problems. Woo, y'all a lot of problems. Woo. But I, I, look, I, I heart what I do. That makes the difference. But as a whole, y'all terrible people. Y'all don't follow where I was telling Dave Sunday. Y'all don't follow where y'all tell Dave said, I'm with you. He you just say I'm with you. I said, that ain't everybody. It's bad. But it's a good thing. When I say it's a good thing, it has to be that's what he wants. You know what I'm saying? It's unfortunate because you would think if people see somebody lay down the plan, this is don't get. I lay the word down. Do I lay it down? It kind of be, it don't be right. Yeah, right. I mean, how, I'm be on, how I ain't right on other stuff I do though? These folks be like that guy ain't right. And you the one screw up. You the screw up, you the one cost me money, you the one make every bad decision, and I get judged and tried like, it be preacher. <laughs> it like, preacher ain't the one doing it. I'm following the book, I'm telling you, this is the plan. Follow this way, do this, do this. Y'all just go the opposite way, you keep trying to, y'all don't follow nothing to do everything. When you told to do something, y'all have to do everything I do. And it bothers me, because it's like, it's not, it don't make sense. It don't make sense. He said a well can't spew sweet and bitter water. You can't get good fruit and bad fruit. And my stuff been right. <laughs> Your stuff been screwed up. Y'all you know, do my own thing. It's like, it's something about y'all rule up. That's a lie. Y'all got y'all are bad people. Y'all don't realize y'all do stuff. It's really dangerous. That's why stuff don't go right for y'all. Y'all have, woo, y'all some terrible people. Y'all want to know the truth. Y'all some terrible people. Y'all do stuff I could have never done. It's scary. It's scary. It is scary. Don't y'all know that man talking about committing your whole ways to this man? Y'all got to have enough confidence in your hood. And I ain't saying that for y'all doing that mean. Y'all march y'all spot. It's just like a hiding when they piss on grad, piss somewhere. And dog, you don't march your spots. I leave that spot alone. But y'all do stuff you shouldn't do. I wouldn't do it. I've been with you. If a man ain't all the way right, I wouldn't follow him. I wouldn't find him. I wouldn't. I wouldn't trust him. I could trust him for this, but I can't trust him for that. I could trust him for this. That's scary. That's scary you can distinguish that. That's scary. Do y'all know how much sight that you saying you got? These people think, let me tell you what they be doing here. These people think they be listening to me and they think, this is her. Um, I listen to them. I be picking the bones out. You scared. I guarantee you picking words. I guarantee you throwing words. You ain't never seen no bone. It's stuff y'all do. Where we, let me tell you something, where we should really be at. <sighs> I do a lot of work cleaning. I spend more time cleaning up than I do really just kind of keep moving. Now sometimes before you can cook, you got to clean up. Mm -hmm. I can't even cook. Mm -hmm. I ain't even cooking. I'm cleaning up stuff. Mm -hmm. Y'all do stuff, it be like, it's scary. It's like, y'all really scared me. It's like, that's scary. Because that means you got something and you don't realize we follow this book to letter. You'll see you imitate and you mimic this people who've done this before and all them people fail. So it's like, you don't see your pathway. You don't see your pathway. It's like, how y'all eat this? This what I'd be most scared of anything eating from anybody. Oh, this is messing up my next money. That's fine, that's money. I'll never let you teach me this. If I got any hesitation, reservation, you will never get this opportunity. This is a test of my soul. This, you could put something here that I can't get back. Money, anything, I can recover. But my soul, y'all guys put place, y'all perspectives on how you do things or you don't follow full heartedly, 
That's scary. That's scary. Am I trying? Have I been that guy who's burnt you? Am I that guy that do this? That owe any of you guys money? No. <laughs> y'all, y'all gotta do stuff. I'd be like, y'all people are very scary. As whole, but you ain't gonna believe it though. I guarantee that I harbor every one y'all saying though, and I keep moving. You know that's a that's a he had to put you in perspective like that. Hello? How many of y'all would deal with somebody that you knew they didn't trust you and you ain't never did? How many of y'all? If you knew they watched they didn't trust, how many of y'all would keep dealing with? Honestly. How many of y'all say, well, I still do. How many of y'all would do that? Ask yourself why I deal with y'all. This is my boss. And he can't let me hold it. It's stuff I do not, I never do in the street. It, it just, it ain't even worth my, it wouldn't even be worth my time. It's even me to cut people. I, I have that uh, uncanny uh, adjustment where I can cut you off and you don't even exist anymore. Okay, I'm trying to tell people, I can cut you off, man, and keep moving. It won't fade me one way or the other. I keep moving. Listen, as these people go and see how much, ask them. I can cut you off, man, you never existed. It don't take me no time. I just keep moving. Listen, it don't be hating that. I just, I just keep moving. That's just, I'm on a whole nother run. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, why am I wasting that energy and time? Y'all ought to be praying to you who are saying, you um, because I couldn't explain to you why he let me fool with y'all. Honestly, I couldn't even explain to you to save my life. Because there's nothing like what I do. You know what I'm saying? My end is, I can cut you off just keep moving. That man really look out for y'all. y'all need, it ain't for me now, I'm telling you. Please, you don't owe me nothing. That man favor y'all. Because up to me. Whew, 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 don't get me started. All right, come on. Let me get that going. I just want to put that out there. All right? That's at 832. You, you shall know the amount. And the amount shall bring you out. To freedom. I'm gonna bring you out to freedom. That's amazing. That would make sense. I'm sure you probably wrote that out to this end to try to say that and bring you to bring you out to freedom. He said, I'll make you free. We know the same thing, release. And I'm sure people start translating. They start putting things together, saying, we're really looking <clears> at this <throat> coming out of. So the tie in when they came out to came out of Misraim. Remember that? How did they when they came out, what did they know? The they knew the name. They knew the mot. They knew the mot for what he told them. They knew why they should have came out to serve him. They knew that. They knew, and all of that. You know, they also knew. They knew he was going to strike down their seed. That's, right. That's what they did to Pharaoh. So think about it. When you got, when we got our right, and when he told, her, "I visited the iniquity of the father." Where was that at? So when did they learn that? When did they learn that? They had to learn in Mizraim. He told them to let my son go, my Ben go, or I'm gonna kill yours. So what did Pharaoh's son do? So guess what they learned? I visited the iniquities of the father upon the Benin. So guess what they knew? They knew the Amat. See, I'm for cure. We say cure is, let's come over. Only, only way cure makes sense, you got to be sick. I don't think a lot of y'all come into the have resolve with being admitted. First of all, you're sick. You're a sick individual, and you need this, you need, you need this healing. You need this, you need this recovery. And that recovery comes in with this knowledge. And it, and it comes in now, it comes in with application, okay? It comes this, you're gonna use a topical, or we're gonna use some external. That's what we do to external clean. Then you need some things that are internal. Having that de- these um shabbat, dearly beloved, the promises, dearly abi kabi be, dearly beloved, let us do what? Pent from all filthiness of the who? And ruach. ruach. That's gonna attach to the nefash, the nefash of that living soul. That's said, <clears> so a person wanna see life and he wanna see good days. We'll deal with some things from the natural. Then we're gonna look at some things that internally you have to fix, okay? We'll move on down. That's 8 30. He told them know the amount, the amount of bring them out. His translation he wrote, okay? We know the truth. It'll make you free. It gives us a liberty. How about that? I, I just rather say you'll know the amount, then you'll get liberty. Okay? We'll get liberty. Well, we try to deal with trying to tie them Israel. <laughs> now, let's just go with liberty. Liberty is a freedom. Shaul told us in the fifth chapter of the book of Galatians, stand fast in the liberty. liberty. He said, come out into. They're right. He said, stand fast in the liberty. When the Mashiach. You ain't gonna believe it. When they came out, Ms. Ryan, they stood at the uh, they stood at the yum. Did they come out? He told them to stand fast. Mm-hmm. He wanted them to hold, which was hold to what they had, because they was in a liberty. Where the Mashiach had made them free. And guess what he wanted them to do? Entangle. So, so, so if I say be not entangled, you might take that though you never were. If I'm telling you to see, if I'm telling you to stand fast in the liberty when you were made free, then I need you to understand where you were before. This is the problem we got. Why a lot of you guys don't really grow and get this? Because you don't even know where you're at. 
You don't even know where you came from. That's why I like, honestly, why a lot of y'all not growing. In your mind, you keep thinking you're in a good place. You're really not in a good place. A lot of y'all are wrecks. You're really not in a good place because some of the stuff you do, it's nowhere in the world that makes sense for you to confess every day. It makes no sense. It makes no sense you confess every week or every month. Once a, it makes no sense. Don't you know we already had that time period? Yeah. That's what Kafar was for <laughs> every year. So Mashiach come and came so we can do that every year? We only acknowledge Kafar because of what it <clears throat> meant for us. Because he became that offering. He represented everything that we kept in those time periods is what he represented. So we come back in Zakar, marking to remember. We don't come back in because I'm not slaying no lamb and slap no blood up on the doorpost. Then everything he did was in vain. Because that, that makes as much sense that you do that because you come up and you confess every kafal. So I don't know why we're not slaying the lamb and not putting the blood up on the doorpost. See, this call, you pick and chew what you want to do. I can't wait for kafal to come so I can confess. Well, retarded, I don't know why you ain't slaying no lamb and put it up on the doorpost. See, because you, your own ideology, your own intelligence. So you mark and do what you want to do. You pick and choose what you want to do versus you need to start to conform, transform. How you do that? Information. How am I transform? I'm just going to start. This, let me tell you how you've been transforming. You've been transformed from your own ideology. That's how I know because you had to keep confessing. You keep doing the same thing. You know as I get up in the line too, right? No, it's the one thing. Either I'm doing it and I'm hypocriting, you know what I'm saying, or I ain't doing it. Ain't but one or two things, let's be honest now. Either I'm hypocrite and I'm doing it, or I'm not doing it. I tell you which one I ain't hypocrite. That's right. So if I'm eating the same thing I give you, tell me what's your problem. Topical and internal application. I'm just helping y'all out. It's stuff y'all doing you shouldn't be doing. And this is why it's a fight with y'all. Because in your mind, I got people that don't even feel like they're doing that wrong. I see, I know some of y'all, sh I know for a fact you should have got there and I watch you. I said, that's scary too. But I don't say that because it ain't my play. If you don't see it, that's where you at. I know for a fact I knew people should be in that line. I just said, well, that's where they at then. That's where you at. That's how you see it. And that's dangerous too. That's just being honest. It's, it's scary. Listen. There needs to be recognition for what you've done, acknowledgement. I go out confess by everything we've done. If there's something I do, I don't know. Show it to me. I guarantee I'm going to move from it. That's right. I, it, gonna, it might hurt, especially some of my things. I didn't know, and that, I guarantee I'm going to be moving, though. That's right. It ain't going to hurt me while I'm going to sit and be bathing in it. That's I'm going right. to look at it. It's to save my life. Y'all hear me? Everything, it's to save my life. Y'all get too hung up in stuff. Your life, man, y'all y'all dwindling away. This world, it's, it's fading away faster than y'all think. Y'all still in the same old stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. Still struggle, the same old stupid stuff. Still fighting, the same old stupid stuff. Man, that life. That life ain't nothing better living than it. Ain't nothing better living than life. You ain't even living if you ain't life. If you ain't got life, how you living? Yeah. You ain't living. I already got you living for opportunity. Do his will, acknowledge him, and you need to repent. Mm -hmm. Ain't that right? Shub, repent. S-H-U-B. They'll put a V. That's these people that ain't playing with these vows. Shub, repent, return. That's what you need to do. From your shell, S H A L, from your offense. S H A L, offenses. Shub, S H U B. You need to repent, return. That's what we need to do. Let him return to Allahim. Shub, it's time to go. Shub, it's time to get it right, ain't it? That's right. S H U B for repent. S H U B, repent, return. S H A L shell, that's for uh, offenses. Uh, we shall oh, keep offense. You know, overcome. Now, if you keep doing offenses, you're right, you're going to be gated in. See, a lot of stuff we can't sing. Because we know, when you know where they said that, they were, they were, don't mean the same thing with us. Ain't that right? A lot of times you start, they tell you, you're going to overcome someday. Yeah, I got you. They're going to overcome offenses. Ain't no telling what they probably You're going to overcome and keep getting wrong. These folks got a lot of stuff. You can't say, you can't run with everybody, you can't do everything. I'm telling you something we got to do. We got to break away from A lot of stuff going to come away. We're going to wind up separating from everybody. Yeah. Okay. They'll yeah. see. That's what I'm trying to set you up. You got to yeah. separate. It's too much stuff we do. going to have a compromise. Yeah. All right. Y'all ain't got to do what y'all want to do. That's going to be fine. Listen, we're going to wind up splitting anyway. Y'all to say. 
Y'all are saying, I'm, yeah. telling, I'm being honest with y'all. Listen, I'll make, I'm making preparation for a way y'all to do something different. No, a lot of y'all don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Everybody's where they at, but I'm telling you something. I'm making preparation. We got to do something different. Yes, sir. These people going to tie your hand. I'm telling you, a lot of y'all mm-hmm. hand tied now. I want a free people. My <laughs> hand ain't tied. Yeah. I, I, I mean, not, nobody tell me what to do. I don't answer nobody. That's right. Hand. That's I appreciate right. you. Who, I don't tell you now. Don't even, I don't answer nobody. Yes, nobody, sir. Come to, nobody come tell me what to do. I don't kiss none nobody part nobody tell me. I say what I want to say. A lot of stuff I don't say because a lot of y'all can't take it. Mm. Y'all connect the folk, y'all, it'll put y'all in a bad spot. They ain't gonna put me in a bad spot. Everybody know where I'm at anyway. That's right. I, and my job, see, I'm a, and for me, my job had to be like that. Cause my job, my job couldn't offend. Yeah. That yeah. was Yahusha came to, okay, my yeah. job is an offense. Yeah. My job an offense to these people. Even Yahusha asked, he said, Duff, this also offends you. See, my job, I can't, my job, I have a job where I have to offend people. Why y'all think he put me in the position I'm in? <clears throat> why y'all think he don't let me, why he, why he don't just let me work on somebody's job? Man, my supervisor kind of introduced me to his wife, and that's his third one. I said, did you get us something for our anniversary? <laughs> yes, I'm going to go. All right, they laughing. See, I'm going to be honest. Call my, you can do it. Okay. Y'all got to Y'all can call he, him, and him, her. Because your job, and that's your supervisor. You'll lose your job, your career. You ain't going to believe who, ain't got, who can't do it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, t- I'm telling y'all to say that. Ain't no bullshit brag. But because of my position, I can't do it. A lot of stuff y'all can do, I can't do it. He already know. Let me tell you what that man, he been sure over there. Boy, you gonna get fired. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I bet go somewhere and work, don't have to worry about that. That man, done. you're gonna get fired. <laughs> All right, no, I'm not. Okay, dummy, try. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm telling my wife no job. My wife talked to her, she started crying. We had that good insurance. Man, we had no copay. <laughs> we had, okay, no copay. We had $5. In a prescription. These women here, these hypochondriacs, they, listen, they'll they told that thing. But she was just booking an appointment. She ain't getting many. I can't tell her something fine. I thought I quit that just, she stuff. Oh, why you gotta keep to time? Then I mean I had to get fired. Listen, I did them folks tell, listen, man. It didn't take me now to tell them people, listen, you can have this job. I tell folks in a minute. I tell you folks, I would one thing I want was jaw scared. Yeah. I let them folks lie out. My job. I tell you one mine. I ain't tell them folks, listen, I ain't tell me, I said, man, look at him. I said, you got a cup. They said, what? I said, I could piss in it right now. I used to tell them folks, man, I tell them, listen. I said, man, down the street, give me 50 more cents more, y'all quit. Them folks said, look at me, they be like, and I t- listen, I turn right back around and keep moving. They used to know it. They knew it. Don't cross me. I'd be like, man, I just looked at I wasn't worried about it. Do you know, you get to, you be like, <clears throat> he just let me know then. I got to get you your own thing. You ain't going to make it. I'm trying to tell you. That job I got fired from, I ain't went back. I ain't went back. No other job. But he knew that. That was it. You had to go a whole different route, man. You ain't going to make it. Not you in that alley. Because you're going to stop. You see something, you win. I got five for other people. I ain't like it. I ain't like it. I just said, I ain't like it. I love no. I ain't like it. I ain't like something. I love no. I ain't like it. That man think going to put his penny that got mine. He ain't said it to me, but I felt like he said it to me. I said, I'm telling you. I let, listen. The owner. Plop, they um Plop Mart, they changed their name. They was um PMC. They got bought out now by um the Rounder Brother. Yeah, I told them brother. I told them brother. They were right there. They were my halfy brother. Like, oh yeah, I let them know. I let all of them know. Every one of them. I said nobody better not come up and talk to me like that. I told. I said I don't. I told. I said I don't play like that. They told. I said, listen. He could have been talking to him. I know how that worked. You talk to him, you gonna think me and him look alike. We gonna you gonna have a real bad day. We got through with that. They went ahead and let me know. The company going and I said, what? <laughs> All right, y'all laugh. They, them folks pulled me back. They let me know. We're, we're going a different direction. <laughs> That's it. One day I was talking to that man. I had talked to him before that. He was talking. He would get on the guy. Why? He said something. I said something. He said, you a liar. I said, the way they got through. I said, can I talk to you? He said, yeah, yeah. I took him right now. I said, I was going to get you in now. I said, don't you ever in your life ever tell me. I said, I was going to get you in front of him. I said, I want to pull you to let you know. I'll tell you this to your face. He my super. You know what he said? He said, man, I appreciate you. <laughs> he told me. He, I ain't like he said. He said, I Because I, I did. He felt like I did in front of him. I ate that. Listen, smoke would come out of my ear. He just kept talking. I just let him go through. I said, I said, can I talk to you for a minute? I took him out and we went right on to another play. I just let him know right there, don't you ever. I told him, next time I get him right there, I said, don't you ever do it again. I say ain't no lie. If I say something, that's what I meant. We were good after that. 
Then that came down. They put that together. They said the company is going to let them for pulling. They said we're going a different direction. <laughs> they let that that man don't went too far. He done got the owners. Everybody here done got him. That's where we at. I said, I said, oh, I said, oh, okay. That's what y'all want to do. Cause I ain't gonna let you talk to me. I told him I hurt. I, Cause you ain't cause they ain't gonna let you talk to me in the kind of way. That's why I stood. Let them have that job. A lot of stuff y'all do. Y'all be worried about these people. Man, I worry about serving you who. Mm-hmm. I gotta have peace of mind. For whoever looking, don't know. I'm telling folks, don't you do what I do because you don't believe what I believe now. <clears throat> I know someone, I'm gonna walk in there, your, your record too sloppy. Mm-hmm. All of, I only got one person to tell you I was a sorry worker. He should be dead by now because he knew he lied then. That was back in 1980s. I'll tell you, he did. He said, he said, man, you sorry. That man made me go sell dope. I tried to get my life and turn around. That man said, I said, I said, what about each other? He said, he said, you just sorry. <laughs> I know that man saying, what? I mean, I went on my and go sell dope. I ain't got time to do foolish, man. I'm gonna tell you, I know good and well. I work. That's why I always worked hard. I'm, but you know what? Even that, it made me, I always, I ain't never worked no job. I've been no every person. Y'all do that. I know you do. I ain't never worked no job. Anybody know me? I tell you, I've never worked no job. I've been no every worker. That's right. I ain't never been no nigga in no bathroom, hanging out, sitting in no, um, a part of John hiding. I know you I see him. I know these niggas ain't no. <laughs> oh, clock rider. Get a gun, get a saddle, put it on the clock. I'm a man. I'm always prove myself. I yeah. ain't never gonna be in there be telling something. You like the rest of these guys. That's an insult to me. Right. I'm like, these niggas, man, please. Yeah. Come look at nasty stop. Never did that. We had a mirror, that thing you have where they said, Would you want that person to deliver your freight? My stuff be, I have, them guys walking at them, look at that mirror, going straight there where I am, look at that. I knew when I came in, my stuff, you said, my shirt to be tucked in and hold, I know, I know what look like. Because it's an attitude go with it. That's right. I'm trying to help y'all out. When you do stuff, let me tell you something. This, this is what people don't realize. Just like that old, y'all, y'all think he the first person who kept sheep? Nope. He ain't the first person, let me tell you, look, you know what he learned from? You're cold. You know what that man said was a lost happen. He said, I ain't never came to you. He said, I exacted it. Yeah. He said, I made that up. He said, it was cold. I almost froze the done death. When it was high, I almost burned up. He said, I never came back. If it was stolen, I put it back. Yeah. That man looked at it. y'all niggas. That's what, when I say niggas, you know, the word nigger comes from the word nigga, the goose. Ain't no goose in mm-hmm. Your goose is cooked. <laughs> I'm talking about sorry, lazy, hind, complaining nigga. That's who you is. It bad, y'all bad, <laughs> terrible people. I'm telling you, terrible people. Listen, I've never worked no job. I've been no every person. Any job I work, no people, they'll tell you, no, they'll be telling you a lot. Not me. I'm not going to let man, please. Please, that's crazy. That's a, man, why are you even trying to stand out? That who stood out. That's right. That's right. That man said, one came, watch some motherfucker that said, oh, man. When he was talking, said, nigga, you ain't the only person. I ain't nobody took nothing from me and my daddy. Everybody sat back. Nobody could talk. They already that's knew. That's right. Man, I, man, we had so many lies. I just, I mean, who knows whether the Lord we're happy to do that. That's when they want to use stuff at the time. He looked at no. He said, he said that man he gave me nothing to have no losses. That's right. He gave me because he know I'm gonna keep it right. That's right. Y'all got it. <laughs> I'm talking. <clears throat> I, I don't know where we not tell y'all that. Let me tell y'all something. Honestly, for y'all, I can't. It ain't every individual one y'all. Y'all terrible. Just terrible. Y'all mind that man said. <laughs> Just sorry. <laughs> Just sorry. It because you always look to get. Let me tell y'all. Learn. Stop trying to get over and get ahead. Man, I learned that. I'm telling I'm seeing that stuff. That get, I dealt with guy like that get over stuff. I told him I had, man, I, I don't work for myself more than I ever work for anybody. Guys, I learned how people get over stealing. Dude, I was a thief out of the street. But I, I like this, this time I got opportunity, man, gave me get. Why was I going to steal from me? Right, right. Them people had <clears throat> pen, listen, thousand dollar ink pen. Them niggas stealing. Nigga came right. What you stealing a pen for? Because you know what? Ain't none of them do know what they like. None of them. None of them. Everyone that did it. Nothing. They ain't did nothing but they like. They like in a hole in a rut. That's the type of person you are. Never change. At some point, you got to break that old way. That's why now y'all don't see growth. You the same sorry, same dragon, same complaint, same blaming everybody, the same never overcoming, looking at what other folk got. Other, you can make the same thing. I know I've done that too. You try to blame other people. You know I learned that from? I was hanging with blame niggas who ain't going to do nothing. I want to tell you, I tell you, man, get away from people like that. I, I don't even hang with people like that. I'm te- <coughs> you know what I learned what most of my, I'm being it. People you hang with, okay. 1533, who know what I want? First Corinthians. I'm tell you, right, let me tell you something, man. Complain and whine. Let me tell you, nah, yeah, you want to know why you're around you? You know why? Man, you're a complainer. You're a whiner. You'll pull me down. I ain't going to let you pull me down. 
Yeah, I always got an excuse trying to look at somebody else stuff. How they get it? Man, I don't, I don't, this, man, I don't have time for that stuff. That's right. I, man, you'll pull me down. Yeah. Get with people doing something. 1533, 1 Corinthians. I'm, I'm going to finish up you who are willing because I want to do something. Y'all get me going out. I'm going to help these young folks out. Man, y'all get with people. Man, I. I, 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 I lost a lot of time in life dealing with deadbeat people who use other people for their excuses for not to do something. I'm going to tell y'all something, y'all young people. I ain't even trying to be grown folks. They don't be on time to tell y'all. <clears throat> get away from around people like that. All that complaining about other folks, what? get away from around them. They're going to pull you down. All right? All right. I'm just telling you now. I'm just helping you out. Stay on around and see how many I be with. Then you got to tell you who, who I be hanging with. I don't have people like that. Man, you got all them excuses. Man, I ain't got time for that stuff, man. I don't make no excuses. I make a way. I'm just man, that way you hook, man, don't, don't, I'm telling you something. Get out of them negative people. They pull you down. They could be in him. A lot of y'all, listen, I'd rather feed you. I'd rather throw something like a fridge, but let you run and get it. I'll be gone when you come back. I'd rather put some on the fridge. You ring, go get him. You come at the rest. Hey, preacher, preacher gone, man. You'll pull me down. Y'all want the truth. Yes, I'm trying to, you're too negative. You, you, you just, you're, and it's, it's a, y'all just terrible people. You're too negative. You, you just too sorry. You drag too much. You got to, when you're trying to do something, you got to be minded. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me help y'all out. First Corinthians 15, 33. Look what he told you. Do not let your nefash go astray. Then what happened? In, in, in the King James, it said, be not deceived. Right. Then what happened? You know how you go astray because you deceive. What he told you? Rosha company of people corrupts to manners. Do what? Wake up to soberness. So that wake up to soberness. In the King James, it'll say the Sadiq. That's going to be the right thing to do anyway. Listen. Live straightly and kata not. You know why I want you to live straight? Because that's how you made man upright. And the path is straight. That's right. Okay, I'm trying to tell you. And what he say now? And kata not. Man, people have you sinning. Y'all hear me? Y'all young people? Y'all hear me? I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> Y'all do it, man. I don't have to. Man, man. Mm. I don't even no time, man. So, mm. <clears throat> I don't, I'm too busy doing something. Y'all hear me? Y'all got me. I'm just helping y'all out now. Y'all want, y'all want the way how to do this thing, do it right. Don't pay these people no attention, man. These folks will pull you down. Say that the fifth chapter right quick of the book of uh, Knock Them Y'all. Five and one right quick. All they, all they got to do is complain, complain, excuses, excuses. That's the one they don't know me to make excuses. Let's see what I'm on with him. Listen. There was a great outcry of the arm and there was a what now? great outcry of the arm and of their wives against their Akim, the Yaudim. For there were that said, We, our Benim, and our no. Benuth are many. No. Five, five four. <clears throat> what am I thinking? Six and one? No, no. I sent message on them. Said I'm doing a great work. That's what you were thinking. Don't do that. Don't do that. No more time. No. <laughs> Should have told the people how to mind the work. I thought it was the fifth chapter. Is it the fourth chapter? Four and seven. Should have talking about all the walls were put up. I've been the fourth chapter. What was I thinking? Five, five and nine. That, I know that talk about them exacting, trying to release that, trying to get their Akeem release. Four, six, four seven. and six. What, what? Four and six. Four and six. It, Four and five. Make yes, it four sir. and five. Four and five. Knock them, y'all. They call it Nehemiah. Now you know you're who a comfort. Make it four and five. Yes, sir. Why well, do four and one right quick? Yes, sir. Let's see how they got there. How about it? Four and one. Listen. Now it came about that when Sambalat Shama, that we were building the wall, what happened? he was angry mm-hmm. and greatly displeased and mocked the Yaudin. That's what they did. They mocked the Jew. That was, <laughs> that was Dexter's favorite. You know how they right. mocked. That's what they do. What, you ain't going to believe what happened. Why y'all think these folks talk about me? Yeah. They why y'all think these folks talk about me? Yeah. I'm being honest. That's why they got to You know why folks hate me? They hate me for a reason. Yeah. You know, he said they read it. It read it. Lord. They hate him without a call. They got a reason to hate me. Yeah. He, he, when Dawood came out and he fought Goliath, you know what he said? Is it's it not a cause. cause? That's right. So you got to put it. They, they ought to hate me. I don't That's blame right. them. I don't blame them for hating me too. 
Ain't no say, ain't no sorry lazy nigga making no excuses, begging nobody for nothing, teaching folk to steal and be no crook and no liar. So I don't blame him for hating. You know why I hate it? Because they said, well, y'all got stamp, y'all, y'all men have no idea. When y'all stamp do what y'all supposed to do, y'all shame these guys. These guys don't know how to lead about nothing. If, if y'all got, y'all are cool, y'all stand up and hold some integrity and do what you supposed to do, y'all shame these women out here. Like, sitting around that new, new man and say, they will make a fool out of you. You're doing what the book say. You're doing what the book told you to do it. Ain't that right? You're doing it for the saving of your soul. I'm doing what I'm doing for the saving of my soul. I ain't doing for no reputation with no people. Bump these people. I'm doing it for the saving of my soul. Y'all know why I knew I built that house? Built that boat. So, for, so, so, uh, so, um, so, uh, what that great American fisherman could call him? <laughs> ain't going to catch giant glue. That man, the book told he built it for the saving of his house. That's right. Ain't that right? He ain't doing no bad pro shop. That's right. <laughs> Ain't that right? The yeah. man did that they told him. He said he built it for the saving of his house. That's right. So why are you doing what you do? You trying to build it to save your house. That's right. Yes, sir. Now, let these folks make no food like that. That's why I told some of these TV programs, they get mad. And I say open and different one top pair. Y'all can do what you want to do. But I already know men the ain't the every person not even strong enough to watch them. It's true. And anybody was strong enough, you wouldn't watch them anyway. That's right. Because right. you already see what the ideology is. Listen, that's listen, Tyler Perry work good for people when you have a world <laughs> mentality. Open work good. I ain't trying to stop nobody. Man. They work good, people. You the world. You should watch them. You the world. When you get your mind off and you see the concept of these people coming, what's the name of Tyler Wyatt? Because I don't want to insult her. What's his wife's name? And Oprah Hubs. I don't want to insult her. I want to give respect. And, and um, they watch. And you, you know the most people watch them? Married women and married men. Incompetent. Incompetent. Married men and married women Why two people can't get one. Because they don't want one. So why I want you to have one? Why well, I want you to have one? You ever seen a homeless person walking down the hall and man, I want to see you get on your feet. <laughs> Had any of y'all ever seen a homeless person stop you before and give you advice on how to keep yourself going? I wonder why. So why do you think Oprah and Tyler are different? They break them women down, just like Monique. Monique got a husband. Why do you think they broke her down? Why do you think they broke Taja down? Taja got a wife, got a husband. She like men. They're going to keep breaking them down. Everybody ain't going to complain. <laughs> a lot of folks ain't got no problem with them because they know what side of the fence they on. They know what side they bread buttered on. Yeah. The, now, the people watching, they ain't got no better sense. They don't know no better. Preachers just criticize them. They great. They great inspiration. I know. <laughs> and, you want, and that's where their marriage is at. That's where their relationship is at. In a rut. Yeah. Why the two people ain't in that? Now, when they had a show about getting somebody. They should have somebody get uh, color purple worked out good. You get when Celia was her happiest. When she was by herself. Her and her sister. Oh, oh. Oh, she was better when she got her husband. She was better when she was with her sister. Why she had her and Shug able to kiss in the mouth? Because they send these dumb nigga women, all they say these men, they, they too stupid to care. What part of the movie they had, what they had to do with anything? Yup, nothing. Why did they have to kiss each other in the mouth? It was a relationship about her being closer with her sister than getting her a man and being happy. They talked to black woman, you happier by yourself, he gonna pull you down. Well, she, when she got her own store? With her and Mr.? Nope. Oh, she got away from her husband. You can do more and better, and you can grow better by yourself. Mm -hmm. They made everybody hate Hoppo. Yeah. They were open running her mouth too much. Yep. But Sophia kept her mouth shut. That's true. That's the part they need to keep replaying that poly hit across the head with that gun. Yeah, right. Put that to make a gift with that one. To keep running your mouth, Sophia. Yeah. On that ground, <laughs> dread blow that thing. That's what yeah, you're coming. See that? She ain't hit that white man back this year. Nope. Knock nah, over. That's what they teach him. Isn't that right? Don't fight the white man. Fight that nigga. Mm -hmm. oh, they don't, oh, they don't like that. They hate that. Yep. They too busy crying. Yep. They, they can't catch subliminal messages. Yeah, right. Remember, <laughs> in the end, her finally she got the love of her life and got together? Her and her sister. Nothing shall break us. No man. Gonna keep us from being together and being sisters. Way niggas here, you can't breathe and you blow, burn up a nigga's clothes and blow up his car. Yeah. Oh, they lie. I know they like that. I know you. I ain't know why no stupid stuff like that. I ain't got time with no stupid movies, man. The movie dumb you down. Every time a woman watch that movie, them tell what they do. They hate their husband. They ain't gonna tell the truth. Ain't no way for them to watch it and not hate their husband. Uh -oh. No, man, okay. 
<laughs> All right, ain't gonna tell a lie. Mm-hmm. I already know you watch movies. No movie teach you to hate a man. Mm-hmm. I ain't watch no movie teach me to hate no woman. I ain't homosexual. <laughs> what I'm doing watching that movie for? Right. <laughs> Lord, man. I <laughs> made no sense. Man, hate that hoe, man. Kill all them hoes. I got a wife. My wife not no hoe. That's my daughter right. never my grandbaby ain't no hoe. What That's I'm watching right. for? That's right. See, you just get it's intimate. <laughs> simple. <laughs> Women so simple. Yeah, so I don't know how he had to make a love. He said, "See that how y'all are? They simple. <clears throat> stuff y'all get and get yourself wrapped all gnawed up by this stuff. They make a fool out you every time. I then they make themselves like silly, dress yourself you ugly. <laughs> yeah, then she insult you. Then you see, 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 the white man wouldn't do that to you. It's the black man talk to you like that. <clears throat> you don't know these women. They'll tell the truth. They, don't. they hated them. They hated them. Then the Glover had to go fight predator." Listen, man, you think I got time to fight some another planet, doesn't they kill on a swatch nigga? Huh? Doesn't they kill on a swatch nigga? What you think gonna do with a black nigga? I'm taking the thing with a 45. He got all kind of kill him and John gun, and all I got a 45 trying to kill something from another planet. Man had to do all that just so black women like him again. Man, you know, listen, when a black woman hates you, okay. Danny Glover stay still hated. He still got some more kissing up to do. Y'all ain't like, they just call it name, name. You know, they got to, they just got through it. You know, they want to know. Why you hate black women? This ain't no joke. He just got, this. they pulling it clear the cop now. Why you hate black women? That man said, I'm not even finna answer that. I don't know what he, he said, I don't even know what he got. They still hung up on the first Oprah Winfrey them show. Yeah. This is the truth. Wow. What, what you got to get black women? These folk write script to make black men look bad. Yeah. They got too dumb. Yeah. They so money hungry. They so dumb and stupid. Mm-hmm. They want to play. They write. Why y'all listen? The average y'all guy don't even know why they went. Y'all have problems. They went watch TV shows and have a problem with you. Now I get on my wife. She know some of that stuff. She go downstairs watch that stuff. Come up there with that crash stuff. I put out. <laughs> she can't watch that stuff. I don't watch no stupid stuff like that. <clears throat> I'm a man. I'm not finna watch no movie TV to hate my wife. That's, That's retarded. Right. That's right. It's like, listen, all these kids, what y'all think getting these kids? The show, SpongeBob. What you tell me to do with a sponge? Squeeze it. Got these little boys touching each other. Yep. Look, cartoon. Why y'all, listen, you don't put your kid in front of TV, they don't learn how to get seduce them through these gay cartoons. They know you ain't gonna watch them. That's your time. You can go do what you wanna do. And that done ripped your kid's <clears throat> mind. We never had this stuff going before. Raise your kids to hate you. Kids disrespect on some of these shows with their parents. Keep back and forth, talk to their kid. Your kid think you probably have a conversation. I ain't no conversation with him and Grady. No, but yes, sir. <laughs> That's right. That's a conversation. That's right. Tony got, well, let me ask you, but why I got to? Hey, like, why you look like that, sir? I never heard a dead kid talk before. I see <laughs> six cents. I see dead people. Uh, who dead? Oh, you finna see? The kid a little respect for you. It's the shows. You can't let them watch everything. They went, y'all, they got, they went, y'all. I know you can't run. I tell you, you can't. I tell you, Ben, I kept that stuff on my TV. I don't want no Tyler Perry. What that get open? Man, what that tell? Let me see that lick spot on my TV. <laughs> she opened me up. Where's he where? He ain't enough. <laughs> they can cross that screen. No. No. They went, I don't, they don't like it. They trying to play it out to me. Like, well, kind of. All right, see her what? See her she got a wet spot on her face. She don't put it against that TV. I hope it kiss her like a dog. No, y'all quiet. I ain't preaching now. <laughs> Man, who need preach? Just stick with the word. <laughs> Don't tell you why. Man, tell you something. Every woman miserable, and every this is true. Everyone she has a psychological mental problem. You know what? From that TV, yeah. they pick. They learn. Listen. They don't have a TV show, the woman ain't got some kind of mental problem. Why law and order? Lil been mental for I don't know how long. Something happened to her, some show back. When she was a regular poet, she's still going through it and she a captain. Okay, I'm gonna help these folks out. Let me tell you something. The everyday women don't catch anything. What is the problem with you? Watch these shows, do what they do. They will take her back, she a captain now, then adopt the kid. She still deal with the trauma she was raped way back when she was detected. She made something, they keep trying to show the women subliminally, it doesn't matter where you going, like go, you still got your hang up from your past. Right. Mm-hmm. So blim the man, y'all ain't smart enough to catch nothing. Mm-hmm. I don't watch stuff like that. You too stupid, you should have grown. Mm-hmm. 
too wrong. They don't even go along with our doctrine. Huh? We're supposed to go on to perfection. We're supposed to leave that to happen. Then you, your book told you you're supposed to leave it and go on perfection, not land again the foundation. Y'all still using your path for an excuse why you ain't got no future. Hate stuff like that. Stupid. Why well, the time I said, Brian Pop, look, I said, she ain't, she still doing the same stuff. You ain't even went nowhere. That's because it's white, black women follow white women's psyche. They trick you through both sexes. White women, you do that whole stuff. Black women, years ago, you had to get over it. White women only people can hold stuff. Black women can hold that. You start want to be white now. Education made you weak. Can't clean up, can't cook, can't run a house, but you can read a book. All right. Black women knew you had to bounce. Man, you know how many black women? Go, go back and ask y'all black mothers how much stuff they went through about they suffered. They ain't got time to keep it. I tell you, man, that was back then. Oh, but mama, you still psychological. Mama said, no, nigga, you the one crazy. <laughs> Let my pet, you always looking for something to blame something. That junk get on my nerve with y'all. Woo, black women so much trouble. They want to know why um, Wesley Snipe don't want you. <laughs> Not to mention nobody don't want Wesley Snipe. Wesley Snipe don't want Wesley Snipe. <laughs> man, some of the movies he made, man, you can do that stuff downtown and one of them at it with four of them bombs. Nobody watching that stuff, man. I oh, know Wesley Snipe movie, man. That's a pole hustler, man. <laughs> they won't even put them things in them viewfinders. That's not so cheap. Man, no. I'm just telling y'all, y'all stop letting folk mess with y'all minds so much. Black women always trying to find something to say something wrong with you. Stop being psychotic. Let me tell you something. Everyone has a past. That's why it's called a past. Quit trying to use stuff for a screen. If anything, I learned to build from my pay, everything my pay, man, it's my strength. That's my strength. I build from it because I refuse to be one of these people. Pelling down, waiting for somebody to come rub my back, hug me. Anyway, you remember I woke up crying in my sleep. You had to hold me trying to get me. I feel like you been getting put a check on. Come put a check on the boy. That's your pass. Quit using stuff I always trying to you. I still ain't check. <clears throat> Y'all always trying to use some excuse or something. If they build from it, yeah, that's right. That's still retarded to me. Everybody, doing, everybody ain't the same. You a human? It's choices. Yeah. You want somebody to feel sorry for you? Maybe I got time to keep feeling sorry. When people feel sorry for you, they feel like you are doing basket case. People treat you. Do I want to be treated different? Treat me better, if anything. Y'all sit around and always look for some excuse. That don't get on my nerve. Folks just fine stuff. Why you walk old? Took you a long time to get up here. <laughs> I'm on TV. What are you doing? People look at me. You put two tests up. Now, but there, there later. Don't put it by my name. You put it by your name. <laughs> I'm telling you, find my name, Tony. I'll come back. No, no, you put it right over here. Just put it right here. Oh. That's my mama name. Put it right here. <laughs> Joker. Um, mama comes down. Okay. You holding up progression. Mm -hmm. You holding up. Yeah, okay. thank you. There you go, sir. All right, if I get today. Ooh, the old. <laughs> the old one, the worst one, too, ain't there? But no, y'all, y'all, I, I say that to people, that's everybody, men and women. Quit trying to use your path for an excuse. Learn how to build from your past. If anything, it should have given you character. You build from it, you <clears> learn <throat> how to formulate differently, and then use it as a guide to be experienced with other people. Like me, everything I had in my path, I can use it to help y'all. I would never use my path to sit down somewhere and start crying. I can't make it. Something holding me back. No, I'm going to make it. It's impossible to stop me. That's my mindset. Y'all got me? Young people, y'all hear me? If you set your mind, you set training aid. I, when I said it, that's what I mean. Y'all guys got to start putting somebody, put him first. Set a plan for that. why I tell you, you set a plan and you follow that plan. This is the plan of salvation. When you do what you who will tell you, anybody can stop you. Everything going to happen to me going to happen to me for my benefit. Even the correction. Like Daoud, when he said, let him curse, it's got to work for my benefit. It's got to work for you, folks, if you stay minded. He still got an eight chapter. What's the name of Come on, finish this all right quick. Four chapter. Come on. It's out of gift. I had someone to say to y'all, too. Be long anyway. It won't take long. Y'all didn't do nothing this time. 
I don't think. Yeah. No, hold on. That's Ralph. That's Ralph. Listen. If I was y'all, I wouldn't get anything. I'd be saying this is a trap. Win ain't never done nothing. <laughs> Especially you, Yasu. All right, this four and two. Come on. And he spoke before his Akim and the army of Shamram and said, "What are these feeble y'all deem doing? Are they fo are they fortified for themselves? Can they offer Zabak? Can they make an end in a yum? Can they bring to Kai?" The abund out of the heaps of the rubbish. Y'all see what he told them? He want to know what the feeble Jews do. Y'all ain't gonna believe how important. Who, who, how y'all understand that? When he spoke to the Akin, the brother of the army of Shamram, Shamram where Yashra would have been, and said, "What are these feeble Yahudim? Who know we're looking at him? How would you look at that? What? How would you look at it? Cold. You're cold. Yeah. Uh, and the last thought they were feeble. Oh." He said, look, he had the feeble, he had to take the rod and put it inside the Mayim. Mm -hmm. Well, the book told him when we were weak and without strength. That's how I looked at it. He told us in the new writer, he told how we were weak without strength. We're going to deal with how we're going to look at it from him. It's not bad what he's saying. Yacob took the weakest of uh, Laban's fault, his uh, soon. T-S, then they put his O-N, might be a, you know, I had to go back and look. See, sometimes when they put the O, they're actually trying to replace the un, which is the A. But just put T-S-O-N, soon. That's the word for flock. We'll come back and I'll look at another day and figure out. I, I really don't pay a lot. Of, I had to go back and figure what they played with. But anyway, so he took the, the weaker of the flock and he took the rod and he was sticking it. He skint the rod. He, he skint it. Y'all know that? And he stuck it inside the mayim. And so when the people came to drink, that's how they were healed. That's how the fly. I said people didn't. It? That's amazing because they stripped Yahushua down. Right. And the people were Mayim. Right. And in the, in the book of Zachariah in the 13th chapter, he told they were going to be open to the house of Dahu, a fountain. It was going to be for purifying and for drinking. So when the people came, amazing, we skipped, they took his clothes off. Yeah. Since he brought it up, you, you can see the correlation. So with him being stripped, him being, you see how people look that differently? Because they were weak. Remember, they, we were with the bus and we were without strength. What did he do? Yeah. Wow. And that's what they saw. Guess what they saw when they saw, us, when they saw the wall and they saw us? You were without strength to do it. <clears throat> now, the only way you can do it, y'all would have to come together. Which means y'all would have to stop being individual and have to be one man. That's fortified. Woo. Yeah. Because Musha asked when the people were down there and they had committed, uh, they committed Qatar, sin. He said, well, you destroy all them as which means they were fortified. He saw all of them as one people. I'll kill them all because they're all one. See, that's why I try to watch when I tell you I do something. It's bad y'all don't get in consent to what I tell y'all do because you're not those people. You don't pay attention. You saw what he saw they're going to do it. He want to know, first of all, you're too weak and you, and you need to be with us, but you're too weak to realize that, okay? They realize, first of all, they were weak, feeble. Are they fortified themselves, come together as one? Can they offer... Ooh, because Yahushua became a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Guess what they looked at, what they were going to take in order to put that back together? Listen to what else he said. Can they make an end in a yum? Why y'all think they had to get Yahushua down? He did it in one day. Yes, sir. See, he ain't pay attention. You notice he ain't left there for the whole week. Because he looked like what they said is what he already knew he was going to have to do in order to do it. First of all, they, they too weak. The only way for him to do it, I'm going to have to do exactly what they just said. I'm going to have to make them all one. Y'all hear that? And I'm going to have to sacrifice because Yahushua became your sacrifice. That's right. And I'm going to have to make this, I'm going to have to do it in one day. He told you he's going to do a short work. Right. They said they can get all this done in one day. We did it. That's what we showed when Yahushua was up there. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happened. Can they bring to Kai the abun out of the heaps of the rubbish which they are burned? Amazing. Because when Yahushua got up, guess what happened? Woo! They talked about how all them people came up. All those people got the graves were open. <laughs> those stones started moving. Those people came out of the graves. That's how he did it, because he, had, he finished the work. He told them in the 17th chapter when he prayed, he said, I finished the work. He said, that you gave me. Those people just told him what the work was he going to have to do. First of all, the people were weak, so he was going to have to fortify them. He was going to have to become a sacrifice, and he was going to have to get it done in one day. See, you ain't got no better. Don't worry about it. That's where you're at. That's why you got me. That's why, you, well, some of y'all pay me. Some of y'all, hey, I'm supposed to get mine later. I'm still <laughs> winning my income tax. I know. <laughs> now, Tobiah, 
the Ammonite was besides him and said, mm -hmm. even what they are building, if a fox goes up, he would break their abund wall down. Mm -hmm. Shama, O oh all, sh Shama, our all, for we are despised. Return their reproach. You know what they told head. him? They said, even if they build it, you get what he told them? If a fox goes up, he would break their abund wall down. Mm -hmm. I think that when Yahushua told them <clears throat> to go tell that fox, he told them to go tell that fox what he do. That he would perform it today and tomorrow. He let them know it's going to be that out of the beast going to perish. All that had to be fulfilled. Come on. Shama, oh, our all, for we are despised, mm -hmm. return their reproach on their own heads mm -hmm. and give them up for plunder in a land of captivity. <laughs> Whoa, you see that? He's let you go in a, let them go in a place of slavery and bondage for what you said. Listen. And cover not their iniquity mm. and let not their katah be blotted out from before you. For they have provoked you to anger before the builders. That type. I watch I tell y'all, some stuff come out your mouth, it shouldn't have came. You see, he said, forgive them for they know not what they do. Nope. He told them, he said, don't blot it out. Hold it against them. Let them be for a prey in a land of captivity and plunder. That's why they for take your goods. Mm -hmm. Come on. So we built the wall mm -hmm. and the whole wall was joined together to it, its half. For the arm had a lob to work. They had a mind to work. You ain't going to believe how we're going to do that. I'm going to do it because I got people got a mind to work. That's right. I'm going to have a lot of y'all. No, you ain't a boy. I don't want to worry about it. But it's better that way. It's just better <coughs> that way. That he Because it'll, it'll be too many. Think about it. If all y'all was on board with what I had to do, how y'all do, don't y'all know what that'll do? They'll say, we'll say we got it with our own hands. <laughs> they don't even know what I'm talking about. That the same thing happened. Well, they're going to go up and take the city. Mm -hmm. He's telling them back. He told them the people were two men. I told them I ain't want but a certain amount of people in the first place. Yeah. Okay. They didn't know why either. I know y'all didn't know why. Because we'll say we did it our own hands. <clears throat> but what are we going to do it? Yeah, who are gonna... He done cut out. He done serve it out for a reason. That's what he did with Yashara and them. And he served it out. He cut out some. That's just being honest. That's the purpose. It's got to be that way. We'll say our hands that did it. It can't be that way. It got to be Yahuwah. Yeah. I'm just help y'all. Listen, worst of common, worst disease, worst person you ever seen out here, watch Yahuwah work. That's right. And only way we're going to be able to do it. <clears throat> Tell them what happened again with the wall. Yes, sir. So we built the wall. <laughs> so you the said the wall. So we couldn't do it? And we built, so we built the wall. And you ain't going to believe it. We're going to build it. Yes, sir. Listen. And the whole wall was joined together to its half. Who know what that meant? Hands represented. He was trying to tell, we took the breach out. When you go to the 22nd chapter of the book of your cause of call, you look at 28th verse, he told you he was searching for a man. The stand, what was that was? In the gap. In the gap to make up the what? Hedge. And you didn't believe when we built the wall, it wasn't no breach. We're getting rid of the gap. We're filling all the gaps in. That's all we're going to do. We're going to fill in the gap, people. Oh, yeah, but that's, all we're gonna, that's what we're going to do. Yes, sir. See, your cause of call, they had a gap. Even though at that time that the door hadn't been set up, but the door here now. We listen, ain't gonna be no breach. Ain't gonna be no break. Y'all gonna say, ain't gonna be no break. We're gonna do just what he said. All I did have people have a mind to work. Mm -hmm. That's all. I'm 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 gonna follow the same plan. I ain't got no new different, I ain't got nothing different with what he got. Okay. Come on back, eight chapter right quick. They forgot about you can let me try to finish tie this up right quick. Cause we done jumped way out the way <laughs> and went all over places. I don't know what's going on. Eighth chapter, we did 832, jump down about, let's see, about 37. 837, you can know they called John. We did 832, he said to them that a month on him, but if they continue, then, you know, uh, that's how this is going to operate and happen. Listen. I know that you are offspring of Abraham, mm -hmm. but you are seeking to put me to moot. What did you say? You know who now? You're the offspring of who? Of Abraham. If they were the offspring of Abraham, what would that make Abraham? Their father? What did he say? But you are seeking to put me to moot. Tell me what happened, son. Because my debar shall not be established among you. Mm -hmm. I speak of what I have seen with my Abba, mm -hmm. and you do what you have seen with your Abba. That's all I want. Come on back to that 16th chapter right quick. 16th chapter book of uh, Beth Shemuel. It's called the Sack of Samuel. Where did I find 16, <coughs> what, 16, 16 maybe? 11? Oh, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, 11, too far down. 
16:11. Listen. Then Daoud said to Abishai, What he said, to, what he said to my father's a gift, and to all his Abedin, and all his servants. Behold, my being who came out from me seeks my kai. How much more that, now this Benjamite? Let I don't him know alone. what that means. I don't know what that means. See what Yahushua should try to love know. This is the same thing y'all did before. He said, I've seen it before. Huh? The son come out front and ready to kill the father. And he, sh he was just showing the same pattern. <clears throat> That's all he was trying to tell. He said, I know you, Abraham, see, you seek to kill me. I'm watching you. <laughs> he said, I'm watching you. A lot of folk don't even realize, I see you. Listen. Let him alone and let him all I, for Yahuwah has told him. See that? And what happened? Perhaps Yahuwah shall look on my affliction and Maybe, return. Maybe, listen, perhaps. Yahuwah said, because he don't know, but he's, he's just saying, perhaps, based off he used the word the way they said, perhaps. If he do what now? Perhaps Yahuwah shall look on my affliction perhaps and return Perhaps he might look on my affliction and do what? And return tube to me. And, and return tube to me? Perhaps. And, so perhaps mean you know. It's highly likely. Highly likely. See in Matthew Yahoo 5 and 9 say, perhaps. Perhaps. Highly likely. Chanceable. Probable. <clears throat> Mark the Okay. Five and nine. Listen. Barak are those who pursue shalom. For they shall be Barak and a benefit, bestow a gift upon them that seek shalom. He said pursue? Yes, sir. Okay. We know about that. Come on. For they shall be Kara, the Bani of Allahim. To that, they'll be called the Bani of Allahim. Mm -hmm. Barak are those who are pursued on account of Sadiq. Mm -hmm. For theirs is the Malkuth of the Shamayim. You see that? Barak are those that are pursued for Sadiq. So theirs is the, is the who? Malkuth of the Shamayim. See that? You ain't gonna believe it. You ain't gonna believe it. Yeah, who should wind up possession, then? it? Yes, sir. Why are they pursuing it? Okay. Listen. Baraka are you when they insult you. When they do what now? Insult you. When they insult you? Yes, sir. What? What else? And persecute you. And persecute you. And falsely speaking all kinds of Rosha about you for my sake. Mm. What am I supposed to do? Be glad and rejoice because your reward is in the Shama in the Shamayim is great. For so they pursue the Nabaim who are who were before you. Like Dao, that's probably why he said perhaps. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have to say perhaps. I know how it's going to work. Yeah. I don't use perhaps. I already know how it's going to work. See, when they're doing it, they come, and they're coming after me doing it, I don't have to say perhaps. I know what they're going to do. That's right. That's why he said they did it to the Nabeen before you. They didn't know. They just said perhaps you who are with because you who had allowed it to happen. Right. So perhaps to them, because we got to see how it work out. Mm -hmm. But for me, it was written the fourth time. What was it written for now? Learning. So that we through what? And doing, going through without quitting. So me, like when I said, if, you know, using that term, and you see, you don't have to use perhaps. Mm. You know what he's going to do. Right. Especially right. when they say follow, and it's because of his name's sake. Right. I got a reward. Right. See that? That's a different. He said perhaps. He come on, you who didn't say perhaps, did he? I know how they're going to work out. Mm. See, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. You got to know how to... Um, Know when it becomes stationary, when it becomes movable. Mm -hmm. Okay? I'm just trying to tell you, you got to know when to move. Just like <clears> when he <throat> told you when it came to the Kato Sarah, they gave off different sound frequencies that allowed each person to know when it was supposed to move. He told you to hearken to the sound of the Teruah. Most of y'all don't listen. You do your own stuff. A lot of y'all don't, don't listen. I know y'all not listening. On that screen here, y'all terrible listeners. As a whole now, Am I talking every individual? No, y'all are terrible people. You know who y'all are, terrible people. I know what you're trying to tell yourself. You talking about me, you know good well I'm talking about you. Terrible people, there's no way in the world you're gonna make it. But you're here though, for a reason. You'll do everything you can to go opposite around and look like you're with. And you don't realize, it's impossible. Y'all think y'all be invisible. I should be sitting here looking at that Very much scary, <laughs> very much scary to me. Y'all have y'all always, oh you having this, I get now. None of these people would die to excuse them. They got to excuse them. They can explain to you why. They just don't realize it still don't make no sense. 
it still don't make no sense, but you do it anyway. And you see, people see you. It's like, why would they do that? I, said, I just learned that's where people at. But it has to be like that because Yahuwah had to come back here to Barack me anyway. And he can't Barack me without y'all doing what y'all supposed to do. So I really need you. Can I, can I, can I? This is my confession. And you hear that, man? I really need y'all to keep doing what you're doing. Really, I do. A lot of y'all, I don't, I don't need you to change. If you change, you're really going to mess me up. Because right now, I'm stacking. Y'all want the truth? Mm -hmm. I'm stacking. See, when you keep doing what you're doing, he keep lowering me up up there. So if you stop and you start at filing complying, you really will mess me up. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he's stacking me. Because he like, I got to because these people are against you. And you still doing them too. So if I'm doing you too and you doing me too, he's going to like, I can't give you nothing for that. Because <clears throat> y'all, you know, they did you too. So you did them too. It's nothing in it. But when I'm doing you too and you doing me Rosha, it's really you helping me out. You know what I'm saying? So the people in here that's been doing too, I'm going to say that it's probably going to sound funny. Um, y'all really can stop it because I can stack up more if you would do what the other people were doing. Because you know there's some people here who are not doing what they're supposed to do. You are really helping me out more than these other people are. And I want to thank you, her due to you. Because I didn't understand it at one time, but I want everybody to know that you are really helping me out. Because it's like, you know, I ain't doing bad. You know what I'm saying? And it's because of you. And I've been thinking it's been the people been doing what they're supposed to do. And it's had, <clears> and I've been thinking the wrong people. Like, you know, appreciate it. The people I'm telling I appreciate y'all. I take that back. I appreciate these other people. It is, it's funny, but listen, you are really helping me out. I mean, you, you don't know what you're doing with me. Man, this is the worst economy we done seen out here. Y'all hear me? This stuff, man, they got so many diseases. It's wiping these people out. If it was not for you and your cutthroat way is what you do, I would not be able to do what I'm doing. I want a person to thank you. And if I find somebody mess with you to myself, hey, you quit that stuff, that rock, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of that person. Cause you, that's, let me tell you what happened. This is, they think I'm crazy, right? Who was Dao mad with? Who was Dao getting on? He was getting on who? He was, he was mad with the guy who told him to stop. Mm -hmm. he, did he tell the other guy ain't got nothing to do with you who was getting on him? No. No, 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 no. I need you to leave him alone. Cause your whore is probably going to barack me real good behind this. You guys are really my strength, and I appreciate what you do. I'm saying, all the people, if I get me, I need, you know what I need to have? What I need to do, I need to probably create some, like, the biggest hater award. And let y'all, and get you, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, who, who, I'm going to name the one, Buck Nasty. You're going to be the biggest hater. We're going to get a play. I, need, I, do, I need to get a preacher hater award. And let you guys and just vote you up and let, you know, and I need people because I couldn't be doing what I was doing without you who and you. It's the ones y'all that doing what you supposed to do. You kind of got me messed up right now. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're doing. It ain't, you know, but it's like they doing more for me than you doing, if y'all understand. But y'all understand what I'm saying though? So it's working out for me real good right now. So I don't want to mess that up. So if we can kind of keep that flowing. And I want to apologize if I've said anything to offend anybody. Who's doing that? Because really, you doing that is honestly. That was just told you. Who you who got you doing that? And really, as th see, this part of learning. I know it is funny, right? But at the same time, funny. But you don't realize I'm, I'm telling you the truth. You really helping me because you who got you doing. You know, you've been trying to figure what's wrong with me. Nothing wrong with you. You're perfectly fine because you're doing what you who has established you to do. Because he needs to barack me. He can't barack me unless. People are coming against me. Got what I'm saying? Unless you're doing what you do, the work contrary to and do what you do, and that's actually going to work to my favor. Y'all got what I'm saying? So y'all probably forgot why we went there. Let's go on back. See, we're talking. About. Let's 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 look at some, cause we looked at that and we saw how everything worked. And let's go see that the uh, first chapter of that same book. No, first chapter of the book of Malachim, all of Malachim, first king. Hold on, folks. Hold on, hold on. Uh, 
Let me finish that a little more, just a little bit more of that, right quick. Just a little bit more. Some more, what? Which one? 16. 16. Where you left off at? 13, 14. Same book, 20. What's the last chapter in there? 21? 22? 20. Beth Shemwal, just go. So let me see. 12. Two, 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 two. Okay, come on, come on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so it's 12. Let me hear 13. Come on, say what's on. So Daoud and his Anashim went on the Darak, and Shimei went along at the side of the hill across from him going on. He all I and stoned with stones at him and threw dust. Come on. The Malak came in weary and all the arm that were with him and he refreshed himself there. That's all you could do, man. See if it's the 20th chapter this same book. She have another chapter when he, uh, we curse again. The same book. Let me say 20. What is it? 20 and about 9? Is it 9 there or 14? Let's say the 20th chapter, 19. You got to play with this a little bit for right? Should have said we're crossing over. No, 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 no. 20, no, no, no. You are, but see if it's, was it 22 the last? Was it 24 the last time? Yes, sir. See if it's 22. He should have went when he crossed over. He should have came across with Evershaw again. Was it 19? Is it 19? I was trying to figure, was it 19? He's saying 19, not 24. Was it? I don't think it was 24. They should have another encounter with him. Oh, you said y'all think it's 22? So what? I think it's 19, 18. You think it's 19, 18? So seven, nineteen, eighteen. What's that? Okay, seventeen. Same book. Beth Shemuel. That's the conclusion. I'm trying. Listen. There were a thousand on Ashim of Benjamin with him, with Sabah, the Abad of the Beth of Shaul, and his fifteen Benim, and his twenty Abedim with him, and they rushed to the Yardam before the Malak. Uh -huh. Go ahead, what happened? I thought they was calling they were calling me. Then they crossed over the ford to bring. So that, yeah, let's get what that is right now. That's the, the lowest point. They fought, love them for it. Like, I'm a ford, man. I know it. You love the lowest point. Oh, that hurt your feelings. I know you got them. All right, that's a, let's see what a ford is. Then they crossed over the ford to bring over the Malak's Beth and to do they what was never got them with Chevy. They'd have drowned. <laughs> They'd have drowned. They tried to stow with Chevy. I know something you heard. I didn't make it. <laughs> Oh, that was you to work at the plant at the lower point. <laughs> Ain't that right? Come on. And to do what was too in his sight. And Shemaya, the being a Gerar, fell down before the Malak as he had, as he was come over the Yardan. Mm -hmm. So he said to the Malak, let not my Adan consider me guilty, nor Zakar what your Abad did wrong on the Yum when my Adon, the Malak, came out from Jerusalem. So they voice done change. Look at that. That's you. That's why I told you don't try to change up. They ain't gonna this time he told you he let it filthy. Let it filthy be filthy still. Listen what he said. So that the Malak would take it to Lob. See that? He said, listen, uh, you know the other day when you came out, I had been doing some curls. I want to apologize for what I said the other day when you came out. That's what he told. He said, you ain't, you ain't let that thing you right here, right? Well, you know what I'm saying? Above. Don't let it get him. That's what he asked him. You remember the other day when I came by? I just want to say I'm sorry for what I did. Let's see. For your Abad knows that I have Qatar. <laughs> he said, I know I did wrong. Now, I ain't, 
I ain't gonna listen. I'm gonna be a man about this whole thing. I know I did wrong. I know I sinned. I ain't gonna cover it up. I sinned when I did it. Go ahead. Therefore, behold, I have come today, the first of all the Beth of Yosef, to go down to meet my Adon, the, the Malak. He's on the first out of the house of Yosef to come down and meet you. Uh huh. But Abishai, the being a Saruyah, answered and said, <laughs> What did he say? Should not Shemiah be put to moot for this? You because hear that? he. He's stuck on the same thing. He said, shouldn't that man be put to death for this? Why have not one a man repent, though? Mm -hmm. Shit, we all the same one. He said, listen, man, my father was wounded. That's what he's looking at. That, that's, he hold a grudge. My father was wounded. This man need to be put to death for this. Come on. Because he all I, the Mashiach of Yahuwah. The anointed of Yahuwah. Yes, sir. Come on. Daoud then said, what have I to do with you, O Bani of Saruyah, that you should, this Yum, be an adversary to me? son of the me? wounded. And not only that man, he said, your daddy wounded, you hold a grudge. That man holding a grudge, man, my daddy was wounded. Listen, it was a gift, my daddy was wounded. He said, man, what I got to do with you? Listen. Should any each be put to moot in Yasharal today? He said, what? Should any each be should put to death? Should any man be put to death? That's what Daoud said. Should any man be put to death in Yashara today? What happened? For do I do I not know that I am a lock over Yashara today? Yes, I know who I am. The day I rule over him. What happened? The Malak said to Shimei. What did he say? You shall not moot. Yeah, you shall not moot. And the Malak Shaba to him. And, and, he, and he bowed to him too. Then Mesbosheth. The being of Shaul came down to meet them a lot. I know Ishbosheth, it means a uh, man of shame. Mishbosheth, we'll go ahead and look that up. We'll look it up another. Come on, let's keep going. Ishbosheth, I know it means man of shame. I'm almost sure of that. Listen. The being of Shaul came down to meet the Malak. I ain't saying that what that means. I don't know. They might spell it there, but mm -hmm. it's supposed to chef. I'm correct. It means man of shame. Go ahead. And he had neither cared for his feet nor trimmed his mustache. Ho, ho. We, we already read that. Go ahead. First chapter. Allah Malachi. First king. One and one. Listen. Now the Malak Daoud was old, advanced in Yamin, and they covered him with clothes, but he could not keep warm. Second chapter then. Yes, sir. Let me see two and one. Come on. And the Yamin of Daoud, Daoud to Mut drew near. That's he right. charged two and one. Shaluma his being, saying, What are you telling him? I am going in the Darat of all the Arats. Now hear what you say you're going. What is he telling him? That's right. I'm going in, son. Come on. You shall be strong and be a ish. That's it. Be strong and be a man. Yes, sir. That's what I try to tell these guys, and they get mad at me. They don't like that. That preacher, that preacher tell them that. That's what Daoud I wonder why I get in front of trying to make guys be men. That probably my own stuff. That probably my own stuff. Ain't, it probably ain't got nothing to do with what I've written the fourth time room for y'all learning. <clears throat> he told him his day, he getting ready to go in the heart. I'm going back in the rocks. So I'm trying to tell you now that y'all need to be strong. Y'all need to be a man. Come on. Keep the charge of Yahuwah, your keep, all, see that? to Halak in his darkeen. Come on, to and keep his statutes, mm -hmm. his commandments, his mashpah, and his testimonies, mm -hmm. according to what is katab in the Torah of Moshe. According to what's written, that's what he told him. According to what's written, I ain't trying to tell you how to do nothing different than what's written. Go ahead. That you may succeed in all that you do, and whithersoever you turn, you turn there. Yeah. So that Yahuwah may establish his debar which he spoke concerning me, saying, What? If your being, Bani, are careful of their derock, yeah. to halak before me in a mot with all their lob and with all their nefash, what saying, happened? You shall not lack a ish on the throne of Yasharal. See that? That's what he told him. You won't fail a man to sit on them. Isn't that right? But a man got to do this. I try to get y'all to stab it. He said, It won't fail a man to be on them. What happened? And you also know what Yoab, the being of Sarua did to me. Y'all hear what they're saying? Let me see. 
Thank you. My father is Joy. Go ahead. Yo, um, yeah, um, so it'd probably be Y A. I would say like the posture for the, and then A B. This is my father is Joy. Go ahead. What he did to the two commanders of the armies of Yasharal, mm -hmm. to Abner, the being of Ner, mm -hmm. and to Amasa, the being mm -hmm. of Yethar. Y'all see what he did? To Abner, that'd be the father of light. Abner, that'd be the father of light. Abner. They probably spelled it A-B, yeah. what, N-E-R? Yes, sir. I know that E, you're just probably, they probably making up for A. <clears throat> They're probably saying the A probably makes the uh, E sound. I probably do it A B A R A B. I mean A B N A R. Or you can do the A B N E R. And it's the father light. Y'all should have missed it because that's who the guy was chasing. Well, he went turn to the right or the left because he was chasing light. He was chasing the father light. Listen. And to Amasa, the band of Yether. Whom he killed, he also shared the dom of war in Shalom. See that? He shared the war. You see what he did? He shared it. See, he shared the blood of war. It was time of peace. That's what Dawood just told y'all when they came down, when they came down the other guy him. That's what he just told you. He said, Should any man die in Yashra today? Not in time of peace. It make no sense. Listen. And he put the dom of war on his belt that was about his waist. Because that way he took his sword from him. That's what he did. Listen. And on his sandals that were on his regal. Well, on his feet. Come on. So act accordingly to, accordingly to your kakma. And so, so do, according to your wisdom, according to your skill. What do you want me to do? And do not let his gray hair go down to Sheo in Shalom. You know what you got to do to do that? You got to be real skilled. Because this man know how to set war in a time of peace. He killed the two commanders. He said, but use your skill. <clears throat> you can kill him. You just got to be skillful. That's what they try to tell Dao when they're gonna go out to try to fight Goliath. That man been doing us a long time. You are you. You gotta be real good, you're gonna do this. You gotta be skilled. You ain't gonna believe it. I'm real skilled on what I'm gonna do to you. Listen. But show kindness to the Bani of Brasilia, yeah. the Gileadite, and let them be among those who eat at your table. Why? For so they came to me when I fled to, from Absalom, mm -hmm. your Ark. And what happened? Behold, there is with you Shimiah. Oh my goodness. Shem, what about him? The being of Gerah, mm -hmm. the Benjamite, uh -huh. of Bakarim. Yeah. Now it was he who all I me with a violent all I on the that? Yoon. He's the one that cursed me. And with a violent all I? Yes, sir. Ooh, that thing hurt me. Mm, that hurt me. What happened? On the Yum, I went to Makananyim, but when he came down to meet me at the Yardan, I shall to him by Yahuwah, saying. You see what he did? He said, I vowed to him by Yahuwah, saying. I shall not put you to moot with That's the what sword. I told him. He said, I will not put, I gave my word. I would not put him to moot. Come on. Now, therefore, do not let him go unpunished, for you, you are a kakma ish. You hear that? You very skilled. You paid attention to what I said. I gave him my word that I wouldn't kill him. You skilled, right? You picked that up. What happened? And you shall know what you shall do to him. What? And you shall bring his gray hair down to Sheol with Dom. Let's get that right quick. See that right quick. Olive, cough, first Peter they call it. Chapter three. Who's that, verse 10? Let's see what happened. Listen. For the each who would Ahab Kai. So and, the, for the East that would love Kai. Yes, sir. And do what? And see tube Yamin. And see tube day. Good That's day. right. What do you want him to do? Let him refrain his tongue from Rosha and his lips that they speak no gal. Mm. Let him turn away from Rosha and do tube. Let him seek Shalom and ensue it. Mm. It's tight. I know y'all had forgot about what we started then. That's why you pay me. That's right. See, you'll thank y'all. A lot of y'all think y'all getting away. You have no idea. You haven't gotten away. Mm -hmm. You think because I hadn't killed you that you're safe. You're really not safe. You who have got a man set in plan for you. So a lot of times you think you've gotten away and you've done good. I know. And you repented too, just like they repent. Didn't he <coughs> repent? So. Didn't he repent? Yeah. And see how it worked out for him? 
That's why y'all should be real careful about what y'all do. But you wouldn't. Y'all just that type of people. I know what you think in your mind. I'm trying to think. Did I counter? Did I, did I do that? I told you before, y'all agree me. But mm -hmm. it's a benefit to me. Like, that, ooh, it's a benefit because he, he told me, I don't have to use perhaps. It's got to, you let me see the people. We're going to get ready to let y'all go. Y'all fine. But you need to know this because y'all mess around. You play around. He done told y'all, whatever written for a time, written for your learning. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's been fulfilled. That's what they thought run around. See, that's already been fulfilled. So you don't have to worry about that. Why y'all think when you who should come back here and what he coming to do? And I, cause you shed blood in a time of peace. Y'all did why y'all think he come back to kill these people? They don't know when they would call that man name day, they grieved him bad. Mm. It was violent. Why, see, look what the violent did. It wound up killing that man. You think he forgot about that? No. You can't go to the grave the way you think you're going. You're going to go down, it's going to be rough for you. I'm trying to tell all y'all that. You need to really get honest about what you're doing. A lot of y'all, you ain't honest because you'll do the same thing over. I know you're honest, you repent too much. Y'all got to start getting honest about what y'all doing. That's right. This is a serious matter when it comes down to your nefarious, what come out your mouth, what you consent to and what you move away from. Y'all, a lot of y'all, show you can't follow orders. That man told you, you're supposed to have one counsel. That's right. One counsel. Y'all people are dangerous. You got your own counsel. He done told you. You done took counsel. He said, that didn't come from my mouth. I gave you counsel. Don't worry about it. That's where we are. Listen, preach out there. Wake up. Wake up, Arnett. You talk to yourself today. You and God done talk. I know. He's still down. It takes a minute <laughs> to get to go. Rob, I appreciate you hanging in now. They're for everybody. Listen, I want everybody to go. I appreciate y'all. I mean, all y'all, and I appreciate y'all. I, I mean, I would uh, hold nothing more if everybody would walk in the same mindset. But dragging y'all to do something, that ain't me. Everything we do, you have to be minded to do it. And it's terrible that y'all people are not. And I'll tell the truth because I don't want people believing no lie about y'all. I don't live no lie. I live the truth. I'll never cover for y'all. I won't cover for y'all. Y'all are great people when you want to be to certain things. But following me wholeheartedly doing what you're supposed to do with you. It ain't about me. It's about y'all don't y'all don't pay attention. Y'all think he just give me the muff understanding to just teach the word, but I'm dumb as heck to everything else. You the idiot. You the one ain't got nothing. How you got smarter than me? You done messed up everything you got. I ain't messed up nothing you got. You screwed up everything y'all got. And they got a problem with trusting me. You ought to really look at where you at. A lot of y'all, you really need to look at where you at. It's bad. You done made a lot of bad decisions. But y'all going to pay for what you done. Listen, I'll give y'all my word. I will not put you to move. I don't pray for y'all to go to move. I'm just telling the truth. I don't pray for y'all to go to move. But y'all better know, though, it's a man coming on his dick. Y'all going to pay for what you done done. That's two. Appreciate everybody. That's two. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate you. Who